I was thinking once we once we kill Seika, who we should go for next? You know, I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking panic. Because think about it, panic is really like the only person that matters because. Zeno's yeah. not even gonna be there. Task is like off in the forest doing stupid stuff. We all know Borky's a freaking moron. And <laughs> have you seen Mark's roles? Like, yeah, he's not even in the fight. Like, let's just geek the mage. It's an old shadow run trick. Don't trust dragons. Geek the mage, and then we'll go from there. And it's, it should be a simple process. I like, told it's, you, Chad. It's not, it's like, it's not like it, I fucking told you. I it, fucking said it a, from, from what? day one. Sorry, I can't birds. hear you over the sound. You're so small. I can't. Where are you? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Uh, what were we talking about? Your I bad wanna... rolls. What? Your bad rolls. Uh, I rolled like three nat twenties last week, bro. Good thing that they're gone. Really? Is that why you couldn't trip Remy with a twenty? Hey, you couldn't trip the fighter in armor. It's okay, chat. Let's remember I have a plus eleven <laughs> to attack. That's still fine. You got fifty percent chance, you got... and then you still have to get there. You you're got, not even there. You got twelve shadow clones to shoot through, my friend. Yeah, and you're off got being a coward in the forest. Distance. Yes, the brave task cowers in fear of the birds. Ah, but the joke's on you. You didn't know I had a nuclear option. Oh no, <laughs> I'm just getting started. <laughs> shadow realm. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome into the unexpectables. Yes, I hope I'm exactly. Enough for everybody. I'm you sure may have I'm the upper hand, but I bribed the I'll, DM. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's go around the horn, and let's start with somebody who probably never gets to start. Takahata, where can they find you, buddy? Ah, uh, feeling better. I am at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. I'm VTubing, and that is continuing on Friday night. And I will be joined by a, a, a fox wolf detective cat boy. Yes. Man. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, lot of Adam on there. Really that is. sounds like a VTuber, all right. That definitely does. Now, check that over at Twitch.tv slash so Takahata 101. And yeah, that's really about all I got really going on this week. Oh, yeah. Nice. Zito, do the thing. Oh, well, you can find me over at Twitch.tv slash Zito, where I play indie games and cards all the time. But the real action is over on uh, the Ever Ink and Almanac Patreon and my Twitter, where I am uh, in the throes of getting the last bit of preparations for Aloysius's Guide to Social Acceptance, a book that is full of monster playable options. Uh, and there may or may not be secret stuff added in that I haven't told out of the 20, uh, 20 NPCs and player stats from uh, monsters all across D&D from first edition to now. So, and again, secrets. Secrets like something that Chihalem may actually like. To be uh, to play as in the game, I'm not going to spoil mm. any more from there, though. Just know 20 races to pick from pretty soon. Monty, tell them where they can find you so you can write your intro. Uh, I'm actually going through cards right now. Can I go after somebody? I just you sure can. Cards. Hey, Mark is also gone, so why don't we just go over to my bird boy? What up, guys? You tell them where they can find you. What's going on, Bosco? Uh, What's you up, find me. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Hey, speaking of VTubing, guess who's coming back, baby? This weekend, Little G's coming back, and we're doing more Monster Hunter. Uh, I actually got done doing a little bit of Fallout 76 because I'm having fun, and I'm spreading the infestation amongst all my friends. I'm oh, patient God. zero with this game now. Uh, but no, the funny thing is, is that I played a little bit of the radio, and I immediately just got completely VOD muted. The whole thing. The whole thing. So, you know, don't play the radio, kids. It's bad for you. Aside from that, I had a brand new video go up on the second channel. By the way, secondary channel hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much yeah. for that. Yeah, um, boy. That was a Q&A. That was a really interesting Q&A video. I, I have not done those in a long, long time, so... That's interesting. Next up, I'm going to be probably be talking about how cat girls are absolutely real. And uh, that's that's not a lie. They've they've been around. They, shit. Cat girls have been around uh, since like the uh, Connor, for fuck's sake. Anywho, bonk Connor, bonk, bonk. Everyone in chat, please bonk Connor. Uh, aside from that, let's see. I am also working on the first proper episode of what I like to call Yokai Hunter Rise. It's a combination of my series Yokai Hunters and Monster Hunter Rise. We are breaking down everything behind the Great Izuchi. I know it looks and sounds like a dumb getting to know you monster, but I have 12 minutes worth of references and other analytical pieces to break down. Do not miss it. That's going up hopefully this weekend. I am a busy, busy bee and I'm ready to kill my friends. Let's go. I'm all about it. Monty, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Hi. Uh, I'm Monty Glue. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter where I post all kinds of stuff. Um, 
usually pick videos of fat frogs, fat cats, and all kinds of other stuff. Art, a lot of art. Uh, you can find me tomorrow playing uh, Ocarina of Time. We beat the Water Temple. The evil has been defeated. We're done. That's the <laughs> no, only it thing hasn't. I was, that's the only <laughs> thing I didn't want to deal with. So now we're, we're off to the races to go. I think the next one's the Shadow Temple. I haven't <laughs> never made it this far. Oh, um, boy. Mm, yeah, I went to the little mini taste test version of that temple, and it was not a fun time. That was a great um, VOD. <laughs> So we have that next. Um, and then on Sunday, Monster Hunter Rise. Um, me and Connor have been playing it together. We had a really good time last time. We did a bunch of the uh, Rampage stuff. I have now finished, I've completed all of the low rank quests. So now we're on to high rank. So that's very exciting. Ah, you um, made it through the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I, I did all of it too. I did every single bit of the tutorial. Um, you can find me also uh, on Tuesdays over at twitch.tv forward slash arcadum at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm currently in a campaign there with uh, Brett Ultimus, Joe Fudge, Joe Cat, and Cyfri. Uh, we had episode two recently. Uh, it's been really, really fun. So definitely come and check that out. We're all DMs. So if you want to see some really smooth combat, um, definitely come and check it out because we are very efficient and we're pretty good at role playing too because we all have a lot of experience. So if you want to see some prime, some prime D and D, definitely come check it out. Uh, beyond that, uh, I don't think there's any other announcements for me. So that's that's it. Thumbs up, done. Nice. Mark Allen Jr. Do the thing. Uh, hi, you can find me on twittercom slash Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat. Recovering from an eye infection, cat bunny uh, on Instagram at Chonk for Life. She's had a rough week, uh, but she's doing better. She's doing great, so we're happy. Um, yeah, I am currently in the process of upgrading my computer, which means no streams at all until that's done. Uh, hopefully, I, I, I'm hoping to have that done by Friday. If you don't know, I, I'm pretty big with my computers. I water cool my PCs, so I have a lot of tube bending I still have to do. Um, and then leak testing to make sure that nothing explodes. Uh, so hopefully by Friday we'll be ready. I have the next week off, which means I'm actually going to try and stream every day that I can um, this coming week. Uh, so definitely pay attention to my Twitter. I will be tweeting out when I'm going to be doing that. Um, and we'll have some fun. We'll get back into the, the swing of things. I've got some VR games I can try out now. It's going to be amazing. Okay, I'm done. I sent you something. I forgot I was meaning to send you that, Mark. Meaning to send me something? Yeah, I, I sent it to you on Discord. I, I, I found that last night. I should have sent it to you, too. Ooh, nice. I'm done. Yes. <laughs> I was just making sure. I didn't want to cut you off. <laughs> Distortion Devil, do the thing. Tell them about our sponsor, and then do some bits and subs. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's me, Distortion Devil. You can find me on Twitter, twitch.com slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesday is Tabletop Wargaming Day with my buddy Luke. Uh, I absolutely creamed him with my Emperor's Children. Uh, uh, praise the Emperor's Children. Uh, death to the Emperor's Foes. Uh, ha ha. Um, funny joke. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse where I just play whatever I want with whoever decides to show up. It usually results in a lot of fun shenanigans. Uh, might be some more Valheim this week. Not sure. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, Saturday, playing through Yakuza three remastered before gateway uh this saturday uh same time same channel right here on twitch.tv slash the unexpectables we're finally getting back to it Whew. after a long while uh and then sunday i'm playing monster hunter with uh, monty and hey. yeah it's a lot of fun uh way too much though it's, it's just true with, with the tails being being broken parts you know butts come up a lot Anyway. What, was, what was it about special butts and no one having them? It was, it was, I think it was like you were saying. <laughs> when everyone's like, super, no one will be. <laughs> like, that was in regard to Kezu's butt. Like, you're just like, he's got a weird butt. I'm like, look, everyone's got a weird butt. And Connor's like, if everyone has a weird butt, then no one has a weird butt. And it was just dumb. And I almost, I almost choked on water. <laughs> <laughs> Assassinate by laughter. Uh... Other than that, uh, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. There's going to be a link coming up here uh, soon after all of these subs. Oh, my God. Uh, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata, a spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series action RPG where you play as a bunch of vampires or revenants or whatever you feel like. Check out 
all the information you could ever want to that link. And if you're so inclined to purchase this Founders Pack to get early access later this year, uh, some of that money gets thrown back to me as well. Um, also, be sure to check out my DMs Guild, where I just released the uh, Passion Domain Cleric and the Predator Rogue. If you're so inclined to check those out, click on those links right there. Uh, be sure if you purchase to leave a review, a discussion, rating, stuff like that gets me noticed uh, by DMs Guild people. It's uh, a lot of fun. It helps me curb my products towards you, the consumers, and have a lot of having a lot of fun. Next month, be sure to look out for the Hellfire Soul Sorcerer, which has the wackiest shit I've ever come up with. Uh, so yeah, be uh, be on the be on the lookout for that. Uh, other than that, I'd like to thank I our wonderful add, sponsor add for this evening. Uh -huh. I'm I'm sorry, I actually forgot to mention. I wanted to post a quick link to info on Aloysius, but that that was I forgot to do that. So here in chat, thank you. There you go. You and your spammable links. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. And there it is. It's so powerful. And now I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor uh, that we've had for a couple of months now. And just we've got to wait for got to wait for Monty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it was the it was the desperate intake of air for me, like right before you started. It was, <laughs> that was the the wonderful. Uh, uh, my AS has been MR'd by the wonderful sound of Die Hard Dice hitting the table. That's right. Uh, Die Hard Dice has been our sponsor for a good long while there. We love working with them. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, both polymer and metal dice sets of many different shapes and styles and colors to suit your needs. Uh, absolutely lovely, beautiful dice. Uh, long lasting, made with non-toxic materials. Uh, anything you could ever ask for in terms of dice is at dieharddice.com. Also, they have uh, dice roller, or dice towers, uh, carrying cases, and magnetic dice trays to keep your dice and your rolling surfaces safe for years to come. Uh, you can find that all at dieharddice.com, and if you use the uh, affiliate code expect APR uh, while you're checking out, you can get 10% off your order price. So we can buy Austin a new hamster wheel. Yeah. This other one makes too many squeaking noises. It's not great. It's true. WD-40 didn't do anything, so. I want to buy oh, him a new water bottle. That was so concerning. I felt something cold in the sleeve of my, like, my my jacket, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, did I, did, is there spit there? And I reached inside. It was one of my dice when I shook the, the thing. I guess it's <laughs> ah, The dice are always with you, Monty. I guess so. Uh, and now it's time to read some bits and seers. <clears throat> Ahem. Uh, Distortion Devil, thank you for resubbing for 12 months. You're no problem. Uh, you're, you're great. Thank you. Uh, Crazy Fox, thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Uh, and also for subbing for 13 months. 13 months of amazing content. Uh, Random Man, thank you for the 13 months as well. ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 13 months. Argent Lyal, thank you for the 13 months. We live, boys. Time to watch Seika get murked by Dinky and Rumi. <laughs> Thanks! Uh, Foxley Foe, thank you for the five months. Noble91, thank you for the 12 months. Glad I finally have a night, a calm night to at work to catch a stream. Z-Man Stardust, thank you for the 13 months. Good luck tonight, guys. I swear you guys need to break free. Save the Earth realm. Connor may roll 20 be on your side. It's not, but thank you for the... Thanks for the, uh, the, the vote of confidence. Vote of confidence. Uh, Harmless NPC, thank you for the 13 months. Lunatic Crow, thank you for the 84 months. Dinky and Rumi just vented. Toss them. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 12 months. Damn, a whole year. Thank you all for reigniting my love of D&D &D and this great show. Also, purple and blue are sus. Kobold in a mech suit, thank you for the 13 months. Here we go. Who has the giant glass cups to put the spider demons under? <laughs> Ren237, thank you for the 10 months in a row. Tears of Mozart, thank you for the 10 months in a row as well. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 13 months. Greckle's Flowery Nips, thank you for the five tier one subs gifted to the community. Uh, Offbreaker John, thank you for the 13 months at tier two. 13 months, baby, let's go for year two. Anyway, how uh, how is everyone? Uh, knowing the party will have to face their two friends. Oh, God, it's going to be... It's gonna I've be waited a long Marty. time for this. There will be murder. 
Finally. I just ripped hair out of my head while adjusting my headphones. So that's how oh, I've done that oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Deluna, 13. Thank you for the 13 months. All right, time to see the boy bird boys beat up the fire boy. Good luck, Mark. I'm glad everybody's on my side, you know. Palomitas, thank you for the four months of prime subage. Welsh93, thank you for the 13 months. Hello, everyone. I adopted two sweet kittens. Oh, Aww. kitty. Aww. Aww. Babies. James Rochelle, thank you for the 13 months. 13 months. Now let's hit 24. Let's go. Demon Chicken of Doom, thank you for the nine months. What an unexpected sub baby. Just finished re listening to the entire series for the eighth time since you started. What? Oh my God. Wow. Sir or madam, please. Are you okay? Why? That's. That's awesome. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> Gonna wait 20 episodes before I do it again. You're gonna have the script what? memorized, dude. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have to come. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to come to Demon we, Chicken of Doom for transcripts now. If we uh, forget anything, we should probably just ask him. Yeah. I mean, hey, between Shell, our personal Shell and Demon Chicken of Doom. <laughs> I wonder if they'd like to help out with the wiki. Shell says. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you've got a job. Anyway, uh, Helrith, thank you for the 13 must, months. I will say this. It must be fun to go through the series a second time because you can see the hints that I drop and the foreshadowing because a lot of people miss it the first, obviously through the first, like, you know, listen through. But when you go through it the second time, you can pick up on it a lot. Oh, yeah. You can mm -hmm. go in and pick up a lot. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Oh, God, where was I? Dark Magic Pez, thank you for the 12 months. Thanks for everything all of you do. Cuban Dragon, thank you for the 12 months of Prime subage. Damn, can't believe it's already been a year. Bull Woman, thank you for the 500 bits. Please, God, let the rolls be good for the right people. <laughs> also us, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Pal Palomitas, <laughs> if the last couple of weeks are anything to go off of, hmm. No, that's fine. Look, yep. everybody, keep talking shit in the Discord. Keep talking shit. We're, see, we're not supposed to win. Gaijin and I are playing with house money, but y'all mm -hmm. are gonna look real fucking stupid when we win. Isn't that right, Gaijin? It's absolutely right, boss. Damn right. Egg on your damn face. You're gonna remember who the MVP is. Continue, Connor. Oh, Palomitas, okay, thank you for the 1,100 bits. Take my bits as thanks for get, getting me into D&D, inspiring my love for tieflings. Looking at you, Connor. Hey. Aloha Bingo, thank you for the 107 bits. <laughs> hey everyone, good luck with tonight's game. Also, take my bits. By the way, did you know that when Persia was trying to conquer the... This is going to be a Deadhouse Sonata pun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when Persia was trying to conquer the known world, uh, they met resistance in Greece when Leonidas protected his home with only 300 men. Uh... Just come, come on, on. Come let's on. hear the payoff. Uh, Leonidas, Leonidas protected his home with only 300 men, so Persia rounded up his soldiers and they were led out of Sparta. They ain't love you, Connor. <laughs> led out of Sparta. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Plus, plus two. Man, that was a lot of setup. Effort was made. <laughs> no, but there was effort. I, I, I can respect this one. <laughs> Thank you for the 107 bits. <laughs> Titan Shock, thank you for the 88. Uh, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Uh, hey there, guys. Loving the current arc and the stellar role play. My mind cannot stop thinking of the Visharok from Bionicle with the whole Earth plane plus spider thing. Curious question, though. If each of the current party members were Toa, who would they be the Toa of? Oh, God. I have Whoever the Toa uh, is I, a warp I, in your ass. I, I, I have no to, memory of Bionicle. I, I, Shit, I like the green one. I love the green one. I need to dig into my Bionicles. Lore I'd probably be Tomatoa. I, I, my eyes I had are to so dump space. Over, I can see sugar. I had I'd to dump space in my brain for other newer, fresher memories. I'm sorry. I, I'd probably be Tongaloa. Anyway, the fearless monster. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Last of my bits for a while. Out of the job for now, but I love what you're doing. Keep up the great work. Desktop coder. Thank you for the prime sub. Mike Beans, thank you for the 12 months. <laughs> Ran Cossack, thank you for the 13 months. Already been more than a year. Now, here is to more sus sessions of silly stories. Beware, Dinky. The Bagel, thank you for the <gasps> 13 months. And one year plus the hype. The Bagel. The Bagel. Uh, early to bed, early to catch the worm. Or is it the Bagel? Hellfang Wolf, thank you for the 150 bits. Bosco and Gaijin, may you roll well. Hey. 
Oh, don't worry, Coder, thank you, for, thank you for the uh, five gifted subs to the community. Evan Sky, thank you for the 13 months. Yo! Hey, that's my line. Dun, dun, dun. Hold Aeon on, hold Protect on, hold on. Gaming, thank you for the, what is this, 20 gifted subs to the community? It should have been 15, but maybe I can't count. Who knows? Uh, maybe I can't count. Uh, I think it might be there 15. You could be right. Uh, thank you for the 15 gifted subs, though. Yes! Very generous of you. Commander Roy, thank you. Yeah, they have been, they've been good to us. Commander Roy, thank you for the five months. Uh, Oz195, thank you for the 13 months. Sloth1030, thank you for the 13 months. A Broken Tabaxi, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Can Greckles and Remy please say there is no war on the Earth plane? I mean, that time has passed. Oh. There's definitely war on the Earth plane now. There is, <laughs> yeah. there is absolute war in the Earth plane. There Shink. is conflict brewing. <laughs> Noble91, thank you for the 44 bits. Tears of Mozart, thank you for the 100 bits. Anyone catch Monty's latest GURPS video? GURPS got fed a... <sighs> Do it. Dead Mouse for Tata. Ah! Thank you for the 100 bits. Tears of Mozart. And she got a clean case, too. Look, Lisa, you can watch the single moment where his soul left his body. Oh. Rexasar, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh... Thank you all so much. I just wanted to thank you for helping me during a really dark time after issues with my group. You guys are amazing, and good luck, Seika. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Irrelevant29, thank you for the <laughs> 1,000 bits. Uh, thanks to my... Cheers to my favorite D&D &D group. Even you, Bosco. Deal with it. Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 20 gifted subs to the community. Oh, my goodness. A lot of gifted subs tonight. Thank you all so much for your generosity gifting to our wonderful <laughs> community. Jesus I'll get there. <laughs> Shine Greymon, thank you for the 12 months. Ah, shit, here we go again with the best D&D &D channel on Twitch. You hear that? You hear that? I heard best it. Best D&D channel on Twitch. Shine Greymon approved. No, no, I'm, um, on, I'm on this channel, so I get it. Yeah. yeah. Noble91, thank you for the 10 bits. Chris Goody, thank you for the 4 bits. Can't wait to watch. I'll catch you in the VOD. Also, Rumi and uh, Denki Sus. That was Dinky. He says, he says, like, he's like, like Deaky. No, Are like you really Pac going to correct like the them. sus fake name? Yes. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Noble91, Noble <laughs> thank you for the bit. Desktop Coder, thank you for the 100 bits. Enjoying your stream on my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Desktop nice. Coder. Gear Cannon, thank you for the 12 months of Prime Subage. Neonor uh, 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 Niniel, thank you for the 13 months. Uh, Jack DeCrow, thank you for the 500 bits. Some bitty bits. Luck for everyone, maybe? Hmm. Maverick the Warlock, thank you for the 13 months. Muscle Wizard 1, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Monty, I hope it's okay to say... Uh, I hope it's okay to say about another game. Is Tori Haynes' mask based on, Li based on Lies' face? A little bit, yeah. I really like mass characters, so it's kind of a nod towards Lies and also Kindred from League of Legends because I really like uh, those Kindred! Oh yeah, yeah. Kindred. Kindred dude. Underrated character. She's so good. Lamb. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. I finally joined my first D&D &D game. It's only been two sessions so far and I've already had a ton of fun. Awesome, dude. Renfield88, thank you for the 13 months in a row. Team fight! Akasar, thank you for the 550 bits. The best sessions are the ones where you go in fully expecting to die. <laughs> <laughs> Toa of Twilight, thank you for the 11 months. Just wanted to let everyone know that I got the Bionicle reference in the chat last session. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. Man. Alucard True V, thank you for the 12 months of Prime Subage. It's QB, thank you for the sub. Blue Clock, thank you for the 13 months. Flintlock, thank you for the four months of Prime Subage. Been watching since the Still Havity arc, but was still considered a major concern as an eye in the sky good luck tonight guys ragnarok thank you for the 13 months disco tech priest thank you for the 1500 bits can't stay too long i have to keep the new puppy from getting beat up by the cats again oh no puppy oh. and see you in the vods well thank you so much disco tech priest and congratulations on the puppy commander roy thank you for the 500 bits got you some bits high five yeah high five oh blackfoot fairy thank you for the 13 months of tier three. Oh my goodness mm. Bangalang zero zero. Thank you for the four months. Got it. Getting here quick to say with an early episode name suggestion: Sticks and Stones. Vantanagi. Thank you for the thirteen months. KD Cobra. Thank you for the eleven months, almost a year. 
The Chibi Wolf, thank you for the 12 months. Just finished the latest episode on YouTube. Fate has decided that I should be here. Glorious jubilations all. Maybe I'll finally learn if the floating cabbage is in fact Remy's dad. Whoa. Oh. That's a callback. <laughs> Fucking. <Dad? laughs> Father. That was such a hero shit right there. Yeah. That's way, way back in the day. Made to Barry, thank you for the 300 bits. Sadly, I won't be able to watch live, but I will still listen to the VOD. Much love, as always. <laughs> Trent Calibar, thank you for the four months of Prime. Hail Hydro, thank you for the one uh, for the sub. Uh, Protoss 103, thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, re if you kill Remy, Panic can bring him back from the dead. But it's it's a 50,000 gold diamond. I mean, just shave off a piece, you'll be fine. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll just I'll just shave it off. He I'll, also I'll, has I'll, to be willing. I'll I'll do that thing in that one Disney movie where he, where Mickey's got the the slice of bread and I'll just slice a little <laughs> like yeah, thin yeah. slice off of it. There you go, so, Harvest Man. That's so, for you, so buddy. The moment that I fucking heard Bosco say that he has to be willing, I just thought of Gohan trying to bring back Goku. <laughs> but if I make him dead, then he can't fight the living. <laughs> God there damn go. it! And there you go. It all comes back. It all comes back. Uh. Meisterworks, thank you for the 550 bits. Can't stick around for the stream, so I guess I'll have to catch later. vid later. Gluck auf. Uh, I hope I said that right. Gluck auf to you too, Meisterworks. Uh, Pr Print Quation, thank you for the 30 bits. Crazy Claw, thank you for the 11 months. Going on a year. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the elite bits. Sus are us. Bicknar, thank you for the 1,450 bits. Happy 11 months, guys. Love you all. Chris Goidy, thank you for the four bits. I have a question. Who out of the party would be a part of the Midnight Crew? Oh, God. No. Am I the... What? No. I, 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 no. I, I, think, I think me and Zeta are the only ones that get that reference. So. No. Actually, I, know, I actually know that song. It's a song. It's a really nice song. Actually. It is a song. Oh, there's yeah. more to it, but you, uh -oh. you're it's on all... there. Okay. Yeah. It's, it, that tickled me in a very specific way, but that's that's for another time. That's for, no, an, that's that, for another session. That just session. opened my PTSD of that whole yeah. franchise. Something's bone, silver spoon in here. Uh, Moving on. Travis A. Carey, <laughs> think of the 300 bits. So I hear. No. <laughs> Dread Hunter 335, think of the 300 bits. Uh, if you're having trouble with Roll20, try using an alternate web browser like Firefox. Oh, God. I really should switch off a Chrome, shouldn't I? Rippington, thank you for the 500 bits. What better way to celebrate my 22nd birthday than to watch you guys? Young. And thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> Levi Ware, thank you for the 50 subs gifted to the community. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, oh, holy crap. 50 wow. tier one subs gifted to the community. Holy crap. So much generosity being spread throughout our lovely community tonight. Thank you all so much. Oh, wow. That is very generous of you, Levi Ware 03. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, if you were if you were given a sub by Levi Ware, spam some emotes in chat. You earned them. Demon Chicken of Doom, thank you for the 140 bits. Uh, so in my next watch, I'm actually going to have to keep a lock of Nat ones versus Nat twenties. I'm also going to start a record of who's better, Nick or Todd. <laughs> that, oh, wow. that, would, that would be a very interesting like be a good statistic tally. to have. I'm very Someone's, much team. Todd, is, wait, personally. wait, is that is that based on hits or body count? Because that matters. I'd say hmm. both. Like you do yeah. one, like you do two tallies, one it's for gotta, and one for... It's gotta be a thorough. This is gonna be very important to the 100 speech option at the end of the game. I'm <laughs> Team Todd, by the way. I'm just putting that out there now, so... If we don't do this right, yeah. we'll have to kill Rex. Oh, <laughs> no! Uh, no! Punch, punch. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bets. Looks like the crew are stuck between a flock and a hard play. God damn it. Damn it. Vapa Flex 101, thank you for the 300 bets. I'm so hyped. This is going to be the best episode yet. Toa of Twilight Z, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Oh, my God. Woo! Uh, you guys are being so very generous tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. Twi I... to Toa of Twilight Z with the Bionicles reference. Giving us the 10,000 Lego pieces to build our dreams. That's Thank you so much. Like a couple of Bionicles. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough to buy like two Bionicles. It is. I actually, I can actually turn around and look at my Bionicles collection right now. It's thinking about nerd. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> a Shander, I think it was uh, uh, 22, two, wait, 2,269 bits. Uh, nice. Down with the Dead House, not a puns, and up with Seika's rolls. I agree. Hey. Keyblade Forger, thank you for the 
13 months. Let's play some Among Us Unexpectables Edition. TK, I'll take it for the 200 bits. I saw Dinky Vent. <laughs> Flustered Bun, thank you for the 100 bits. Not as many bits as this time. Uh, I am terrified of today. I wanted, I warned my family that if I'm screaming, I'm only in mental pain because of Monty. Don't blame That's, me. I need that as a bumper that, sticker. Monty? <laughs> I'm in, if I'm screaming, I'm in mental pain. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in mental, I'm only in mental pain because of Monty. I see. It's QB. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I caught up on all 161 episodes, and now I'm a part of the Star Trek Adventures campaign. Have fun. Roomba is sus. Roomba. Uh, uh, lovely Lorelai. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Damn it, Connor. Your dumb troll tweet got me back down the Homestuck hole. I figured... Wow. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, good fucking luck. Work yourself into I, a I, shit, I, I, I figured out everyone's class specs, and I blame you. Hey, that's that wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault at all. You did that's that to Hussie's yourself. Fault. I want to see someone. True. We can all. I think we can all equally blame Hussy. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That 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 video. It's like door stuck, door stuck. The guy's screaming. Grenade. I want someone to do that, except for it's home stuck over and over and over. Again. <laughs> <laughs> home stuck, home stuck. <laughs> Levi, where? Thank you for the uh, two months. My birthday went by, and I wanted to show you guys some great love to this community. Thank you guys for all the great times and laughs. And thank you, Levi Ware. And thank you, you for two the two months as well. You have two minutes. Don't, all right, we don't worry. We're almost there. Uh, last kerfuffle, thank you for the 13 months. That cliffhanger last episode was the, the best in the series, in my opinion. Well done. Blue Kios, thank you for the 10,000 bits as well. Holy Woo! cow. Oh! Chat's, going, <laughs> chat's going hot tonight. I, I would love to have seen that hype train. Oh, my God. Thank We're you guys so much. People. Blue Kios, 10,000 bits. Whoo, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you for being so generous tonight, Blue Kios. And thank you for the 10,000 bits, my God. Dragon God 20, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Good luck, Seika, I'm praying for you. Thank Kitty you. Kitty Cat Gundam, thank you for the 10 bits. Lord Graham, thank you for the three months. Bird brains. The <laughs> Pain Monkey, thank you for yeah. the 510 bits. Ooh. Bring the pain, Seika. <laughs> 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 Bosco, the not so great. Thank you for the 500 bits. After Bosco's roles in the Arcadium game, I'm convinced Bosco made a pact to sacrifice all of his other characters' luck to make Remy extra lucky for the session. I'm gonna throw this out there right now. <laughs> Prince Division, I will take a one on every roll. Just let me roll well tonight. Fuck Prince Division. Yeah. Give it to me right now, roll 20. Everything oh I was God. gonna get on Saturday, right now. He's, he's signing the pact right I'm now. I'm telling you, I signed it all the way. All I want is right now. Y'all are fucked. So oh, Bosco, he's got uh, Bosco, and, Bosco, how much? I need, how I need, much, I need how to get through these bits. Finish. I need to get through Let the bits. Uh, uh, the Hoodwink, thank you for the 140 bits. I'm rooting for you, Dinky and Rumi. Get them high rolls. Fuck the yeah. Shiny Lamp, thank you for the 13 bit, uh, months in a row. Can't wait to see who gets ejected this round. Shiny Lamp, thank you for the 13 months. Uh... The Hand of the Iron Fist, thank you for the 13 months. Let's go, baby. Time for spider crushing. Quinn, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, normally I wait for the VOD, but after last session, I can't wait. I'll give you also, three boss minutes. Because okay. Just Don't. Happen. Okay. Uh, uh, normally I would wait for the VOD, but after last session, I could not wait. Also, Bosco, I can't believe you were the imposter all along. Acting. I guess. Hellborn Rider, thank you for the 13 months. Maca Brenoir, thank you for the the 12 months. Oh my goodness, this never happens. I get to watch live. Mm. My daughter loves Borky, but I'm a Panic fan myself. Hey, there's mm. that taste right there. Uh, don't worry, she'll grow out of it when she's older. <clears throat> Maverick the Warlock, thank you for the 2,000 bits. It's only been three years since I got back from a really hard deployment. It would not be an exaggeration to say that this stream was one of the only things that allowed me to keep my sanity. I'm finally in a place that I can afford a piece of of what you all mean to me. I wanted to thank each and every one of you for being the joy in a very dark time. Keep being awesome. Well, thank you so much, Maverick the Warlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad that we could provide you some some semblance of, of sanity and joy in your in your hard deployment. Uh, glad you're doing well. Thank you for the 2,000 bits, dude. Uh, Greckles Flowery Nips, thank you for the tonal shift and the 100 bits. <laughs> if Greckles went back home for a summer festival and bought an outfit, he would wear a blue blouse yukata. Jesus. That, uh, thank you for the 100 uh, bits. Uh, Roan One Flu, thank you for the 100 bits. Good luck tonight, guys. 
Zenlina, thank you for the 500 bits. I've been following the development of Dead House for a far bit, and uh, I'm very excited. I've heard rumors that they're designing weapons based off of the Tokugawa era Japan called what? Edo House Katana. Oh, God. You fell for the guy shit. You literally just fell for one right after you fucking boot another. You're first. <laughs> oh, God. You know I'm right. You're all right. Grimo, you're make first. Him, oh, hey, guy, you make you him 12 watch. Months. Make him watch. One He's year. used to seeing all the people he loves dies. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Grimo Lost, thank you for the 12 months. Uh, one year on this channel, but well over two between this and Taka's channel. Ooh. In the before times. Mighty AJ, thank you for the six or months, six months in. Thank you for uh, the show, and I hope you're all well. Beats Ox, thank you for the sub. Coop894, thank you for the 11 months. Just some undead dude, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Todd Squad, all the way. Nick Click has nothing on us. Hell yeah. Doodle Approved, thank you for the five months. Pentagon, thank you for the 50 bits. John at Dawn, thank you for the 13 months. Zeranaro Demagon, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Woo. Wednesdays are my favorite days. My players, hours ago, robbed an adult dragon with ethereal plane nonsense, and now I get to enjoy this. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Infinity Judge, thank you for the 13 months. I'm doing it. I'm watching live. No one at work can stop me. <laughs> Alk 27, Alk 27, thank you for the nine months. Art and Salt, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, dial 202, okay. Dial 202, thank you. I have to just say thank you and maybe skip the messages, unfortunately, but. Yep. Yeah. Dial 202, thank you for the seven months of Prime Subbage. Travis A. Carey, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Dead House Sonata Pun. Uh, Benny Boy 96, thank you for the two months. Combat Stone, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, the 3,597 fake Slim Shady, thank you for the 10 months. <laughs> and W. Joe, thank you for the 13 months. 20 BMG, thank you for the 10 bits. Benny Boy, thank you for the 510 bits. Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 20 gifted subs to the community. Tortilla Lady, thank you for the 1,400 bits. KK Riminal, thank you for the six months of Prime Subbage. Foxley Foe, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Strider Temp XA, thank you for the two months of Prime Subbage. Uh, Probate, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Oh my God, dude. Whoa, there he comes. Whoa. There he is. Yeah. Holy shit. That's our boy right there, Probate. Uh, here comes here comes a comedy of Nat Ones for everyone. Thank you for blessing us this way, Probate. It's like that Fallout <laughs> curse. Probate has Bionicles. I don't know if that would be yeah. his thing, but I wouldn't be surprised if he had a bunch I wouldn't of be surprised either. Bionicles were yeah. pretty badass. Pretty uh, cool. Muka Mukata, why not? Thank you for the 502 bits. Uh, the Chibi Wolf, thank you for the 1,000 bits. And Mr. Crispy, thank you for the eight months. And that's all we got. Oh, we boy. did it. We did it. Bye, everyone. Uh -huh. Bye, chat. Thanks for all your well wishes. I hope I live to see you at the end of the show. Goodbye forever. Okay. Better get ready to die. What's this? Is this going to be good? Yeah, this is good. So... When last we left our heroes, Borky, the Orc Barbarian, Task, the Kobold Ranger, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, Remy, the Kenku Fighter, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, and a new found friend in Seika, the Fire Ganassi Monk. The party has found a delightful little Earth Ganassi village, but not all was as it seemed. Being convinced by Remy and others, the party decided to stay in the village to wait for the return of Vanguard Jade, the leader of the Elemental Plane of Earth. But under the party's nose, both Remy and Greckles were taken over by wicked mental domination. Now, without their knowledge, the rest of the party has gone about their business, but have picked up on oddities throughout the village, from jerky puppet-like motions of the townsfolk, a violent graveyard of death discovered by Task. The party has come to the conclusion that the village has been compromised. And with that discovery, whatever entity has dropped this facade, commanding Greckles and Remy to kill Seika. So, I need everybody to roll initiative for me, please. Oh, First. God. Dang it, Bosco, we don't get our surprise round. No, we don't. How That's would hilarious. you? I attacked you first. How would you get a survive a surprise round? All right, 11 is not bad. You're ahead of task. Let's yeah, see. I'm, I'm, a fan. I'm a fan of this decision, actually. 24. Wait, why did you roll twice? He didn't. What? He didn't. No one did. Oh, panic is 10. I'll take that. Fuck yes, that's even better. Not 20. Oh, yeah. yeah! 
Oh, fuck me. Come on. It's a 20 soft. Fuck you, all of you. Two on Let's die. Go. Oof. Okay. Two so. on die. Cut that sounds right. Now. I'm going to die. It's, mm, fuck me. Jesus. Uh, Borky automatically gets first initiative because of the natural 20. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. How far away is Seika from me? <laughs> far. You are rel Oh, I'll take you over to the map here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, Tass, Here we go. You are, I'll tell you how far you are. I just couldn't obviously make a giant long thing. Yes, for you. we the oh, fucking NPCs! Fine. So. All righty. I lost track of what I was doing. Uh, okay. Initiative order? Yeah. And panic. Yeah. Oh, excuse oh. me. Guy, grab the Bros! I'm sorry, did that come from, uh. Did that come from Connor? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I, I see you two We're are a man of... professional <laughs> <for God's sake>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now for the question mark, question mark, question marks in the situation. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, that's... Oh, I thought that was a 13. That's a By the way, I just want to say, Connor, since you have the upper hand on that literal child, just whack his head off with the guitar and run. <laughs> El just, just brain Kabob. him. You remember, Wing when, you, remember when, you remember when Jason took Manhattan? There was a um, there was a there was a really All memorable right. boxing match. So Borky, <laughs> you are not aware of what the current situation is. Yes, um, you're me into the so middle of this. As far as you're concerned, you are next to an Earth Ganas, and you two have been hanging out and just mining in a random direction. You suddenly see Seika like do a low kick on Remy, and you hear this massive noise. And that's all you know for right now. Monty. Yeah? You should have just wallfly. Oh. I am. I am on wallfly. <sighs> yeah, but you should adjust it so we can see everyone. Uh, I guess I should. Yeah, I'm... Okay, so... Now, am I technically engaged in combat with this Earthnet Ganassi I'm beside? Now, no, wait a minute. He's your, he's your friend. You've been hanging out and just chill out with this guy the whole time. Roll an insight what? check for me if you can figure no, out wait a what's minute. going on. What? I see the metric. <laughs> and that's an insight. That's a three. Oh, my God. Oh, that Remy and Seika, they're just training. It's fine. I just tap him on the shoulder. Those guys, I swear. Now, can I, because it's a nat 20, can I, can I ready my turn? I, I don't, I feel like. Ready it for what? You don't know anything. You don't know yeah, I know. On. That's why I just, I just. So what are you readying nat, for? I just blew that 20. Oh yes, God. you did it because it, it puts you at the top of the initiative order every round, so you didn't blow yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you're at That's the top. That's true. So. Parker just gestures over out of the out of focus shit happening. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, go back to mining with your pick. Uh, task. Oh, ignorance. Yeah. You don't know what's going on in the village right now either, but you did just survive being looked at by Grekels a la, you know, alien isolation. I want that to the mod. I, I did I did want to actually like follow after them, but we kinda like cut off ties at the well, last minute for the other. Yeah, thing. you need the hide or else you would have been spotted, well, probably. Yeah. So I will say with your turn, if you dash, you can get near Vorky at least, like maybe ten feet from Vorky at this point. Uh, would I still be technically hidden, or can I roll for that? Uh, if you want to stealth, it would be half movement. <sighs> uh, just, uh, how? So, if I stealth, how much feet would I have in between everyone? Like from from Remy, how much feet would I have? Let's see, that'd be half, so that would bring you to forty feet from Borky. So, it's, it sucks that I'm outside of the field. I'm sorry. 70, 70 feet from. Oh, Rudy that's that's Rudy. well then enough. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I will move. I will take the half movement to remain hidden. Okay. You kind of duck. You look back to this big stalagmite graveyard, and you're like, when you turn around and you make your way back. Uh, can I roll a perception to see if there's like. I obviously they've been fucking compromised, so I'm a little bit more alert than usual. I'd like to perception what the fuck is going on. Sure, absolutely. Go ahead and roll a perception check for me. 
Well, I say that and I have to roll. So here we go. 21. You currently see Greckles and Remy unsheathing their weapons. Uh, hmm. All right, I'm taking a fucking subdue shot at Greckles. Okay. Oh, oh God! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You throw it a shot, and Greckles immediately spins and breaks it with his knife. What was oh, that? Cool. Catch this one. Oh no! Catch a twenty-five. That hits. Nine. He takes nine piercing, bludgeoning. Uh, okay. Sorry, one second. So we'll go ahead for me, Greckles, and make a wisdom saving throw. As the arrow <laughs> hits you in the chest, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh, 15? Let me check. As you kind of fade out of for a second out of this weird dominating stupor, you immediately shake your head and stare daggers at Task. Close, mm -hmm. but not enough, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm having, we're, not, we're gonna have fun with this. All right, free, all right, free action. They've been compromised! Immediately as you say that, every single Earth Ganazi here shifts in, like, at the same time towards you all. Good. Good? You just... <laughs> fuck it, oh, no, no, dude. Who the fuck cares? I appreciate you, Zito. I might have only had to fight two of them before. All right. Yeah, and then take sneak attacks from every other fucking schmuck with a with a weapon in their hand. I can't take sneak attack damage. No, you absolutely can. No, I can't. I have alert. I cannot be hit by sneak attack. How the attack fuck yet. was I supposed to know that? Cut? No, I know. I'm just stating <laughs> it. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a good bird. thing the snake is alert all the time, and he can't be uh, snuck you upon. Know what? <laughs> hmm. uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I was going to think about casting fucking slower haste, but that's a dumb idea. Bonus action, Hunter's Mark on Greckles. Uh, bad news. Alert does not remove mm -hmm. sneak attack damage. Thank you, because only it's only if he has advantage or an ally within five feet. It doesn't help Yeah, you. he has mm -hmm. to be wearing it. He has to be using a finesse or ranged weapon, and he has I, to have advantage finesse. on the attack roll or have it of an ally. So unfortunately, alert does not negate sneak attack. That'd be it very says broken other good. creatures don't gain advantage on attack rolls against you as a result of being hidden from you. I'm not getting advantage. Right. advantage. He's not getting advantage. He's getting sneak attack. attack. Yeah, he's, he can it's still different. sneak attack you. You just don't, he doesn't get advantage for surprising you, essentially, is what that means. So, like, if you so got they, some so, round, I see. Okay. So yeah. They, yeah, they can't get so advantage. It just negates the advantage. He still gets the damage, Correct. but he loses the advantage. Okay, Correct. got it. Yeah, uh, exactly. Put Hunter's Mark on Greckles, please. Okay. Sick. With, All right, let's go. I'm, I'm done. Mystery. Let's go with something else here. Oh, God. That's not it. That is the wrong song. Feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's go. <laughs> been here last night raving. <laughs> raving. Like slow down, know. Maurice. It's like Whoa, crab rave. Oh, slow spider rave. down, Maurice. All right. We're just going to go to basic action. So, Tass, is that in your turn? That is turn. All right. Remy, it is now your turn. Excellent. You have your orders. Uh, move over here to get flanking with Greckles and okay. proc his uh, sneak attack. And then I am going to Booming Blade Seika. Boom. Okay. He's going to boom him. Oh, God. It's 22. Jesus. It hits. Thank you. That's seven plus a D8. So you take three, so that's 10 points of damage. And then I'm going to swing again. That's 11. That'll miss. Cool. So 10 points of damage over two attacks. So suddenly out of nowhere, you watch as Remy, while he unsheathes the sword, does an up cut and slashes the front of you. He goes for a long cut across the neck and you duck around as he swings around behind you. Here we go. Is that your turn, Remy? That is my turn. All right. It is now the something's turn. <clears throat> oh no. Hmm. Let's go. Big brain. They're very big brain. Spider brain in the butt. Big brain. Spider man. Spider man. 
radioactive spider man. Wasn't there some kind of spider monster that actually had a huge brain in its like thorax? Sure. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. Roll, that exists now. Roll an athletics check for me. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, 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 Chad, I'm not looking at you, but I want you all to know something. Pelican spiders, you're welcome. Pelican. I don't know if you heard. Forky, you're supposed to roll an athletics check. I'm supposed to roll an athletics check? Yeah. Oh, it was me. I'm sorry. I thought you were referring to somebody else. Okay. I will grab that right here. And that is an athletics check, and I have... The yeah, leg is... There we go. Twelve. Not great. As you're like, nope. trying, like, oh, those guys, you immediately feel a hard object as you are now grappled as this Earth Ganassi who you've been mining with has taken his pick and is now choking you out with the pick. And you're like, oh, oh gripping at it. <laughs> oh, 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 betrayer! Betrayer! <laughs> Panic. Uh -huh. The shit kid in front of you grabs the drumsticks that he was using for his instrument. It's going to swing them at you. Uh, that's going to be a 15 to hit you. That will hit. That is my AC. Okay. You take three points of bludgeoning damage as he swings Ow. around and starts smashing. He like smashes you across the face with the instrument. His demeanor completely changing. What the fuck, you little mutant? I'll let you touch my guitar, and this is how you treat me. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> oh. Quick, duck! Well, that's not a duck, that's a goose. This Earth Ganassi is gonna grab a flat of metal and is going to swing it at you as well, Panic. That is not as good. That's a nine. That's gonna miss. Yep. This Earth Ganassi is going to flank. Quit it! <laughs> Ooh, natural twenty. Let's go! Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, you take five points of bludgeoning damage with the natural 20. And Danteen is going to move 30 feet towards you. And you notice as they're moving towards you, they're not walking, they're like floating. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, oh, gee. He's gonna go. Hmm. Wow, they're just out of range. Yeah, this individual's gonna go towards Panic as well. It's all and... these off-screen tools and piles of wood just smacking Panic around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally it's like the townsfolk have like mobbed together and are now beating the shit out of Panic. Um, one sec, I just gotta think about what one enemy is gonna do. That's panic, you, you finally did it! You started a mosh pit! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Uh, Greckles, you hear a voice in your head say, make it sting. And okay. Uh. Greckles, it is no, now your turn. Does. Okay. So, first and foremost, um, Greckles will clasp his, his uh, talons together and just shriekily scream out, and uh, cast minor image, okay. or mirror image, excuse me. Does uh, that provoke? No, you're fucking not. Wait, does that provoke? No, no it, it does, does not provoke. provoke. Okay. Uh, as, as, you, as you speak those words, your voice gets caught in your throat. Counter spell. Okay. The spell fades away and you do not get your, your, uh, your mirror image. Your voice actually comes out of your throat, and it looks like it's coming towards mine. <sighs> Greckles will look indignant over, knowing knowing what his uh, friend is capable of, and just bring down the sud blade on Seika for an offhand attack. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. <laughs> so that's a 19. That'll hit. So that will be... No modifier. So that will be six plus. Jesus. Let's go. 17. So that oh, will be. God. That will be 23 points of damage. And, uh, Monty. Yep. I have, I have the ability, like, I'm not, I just, I'm not, I'm not sitting here be like, stab, stab. I, I can actually, like, move around in things, correct? 
And yeah, you just you're you're basically you're being commanded to do the most effective amount of murder as you possibly can. Here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. In that case, I'm gonna. But scoop. your target is Seika, not anybody else. Oh, I know, but you know he's 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 entangled at the moment. So I'm just gonna hang over here and use all these uh, people as shields. Yeah, they don't even look at you. It's just totally norm normal. All right, all right that's Seika, turn. it is now your turn. Uh, awesome. Uh, I am going to have to punch. That keys. Maybe. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no. It's a natural oh. one. It's. Mm -mm. Okay, Dracona die. Be nice. Okay, six. You just miss. Cool. Uh, I'm going to punch a second time. Fucking do it again. Fuck me, 10. Oh, you go cool. to punch and you hit armor and you're like, Dah! you kind of wipe your hand away. Uh, 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 uh. I really wanted at least one hit. That would have been nice. Um, I am going to spend a key point uh, to uh, declare dodge. Patient defense? Yep. Okay, you bring up your fists in a patient defense. Well, that's my turn. All right, panic. It is now your turn. You are now surrounded by the townsfolk, and you see Greckles also moving towards you as well. <sighs> no. Not my friend, you won't. And I'm going to provoke a sack of opportunity from the little shitty kid. Okay. <laughs> I love that. The little shitty kid. You know, the ass. Uh, that's going to be a 20 to hit. Song. That will hit. That's fine. Fucking bastard. Take three points of bludgeoning damage as you get smacked on your way out. Ugh. Dude, this kid as, is an as, <laughs> Yeah, as my back arches, I reach I reach towards I reach towards my jacket, and out of the portable hole I pull a little baggie out. I flick off the leather binding and <sighs> I blow a bunch of diamond dust in Greckle's eyes. I cast greater restoration on him. Okay. Can you click greater restoration for me? You imbue a creature with positive energy to undo a debilitating effect. Uh, one oh. effect that charms, petrifies, one curse, or one target's attunement to a magic object, object, or any reduction to one's target ability scores. I'm going to remove the dominate person on him. You do. Greckles, as you're running, you suddenly feel clear. You can see everything clearly. And as you shake your head, you turn and you see panic and you see Seika just bleeding out in front of Remy at the moment. You are no longer charmed. From up above you, Panic, you hear a... <laughs> this sound of anger just echo out through the tops of the cavern. Yeah, that's right! You can't pick a charm fight with me, motherfucker! And bonus action. Uh, I am going to use the use of my Bardic Inspiration to activate Mantle of Inspiration. Okay. Uh, for this, Remy does not is not considered an ally at the moment, so you cannot. I am not. I'm not giving it to Fuck him. Fuck Remy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> accurate though. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh God. <laughs> I I already moved from here, so that's five. Okay, I'll only be taking the another. An, another opportunity attack. Okay. You actually should have had another one too, but I'll just roll that now. No, I mean, I was, oh yeah, yeah. That's seven, and then the third one, uh, that's 11, so they both miss as you run Okay, past. great. Mantle of Inspiration, that's going to go to, and, and Task isn't on, on the map at the moment, correct? He is not. Nah. How, what's the okay. range of it? 60 feet, so it's going to hit Borky, it's yeah, going to hit yeah. Theka, and it's going to hit Greckles. Don't so worry you all about get, me, You all get 11 temporary hit points. Beautiful. And we can move? You can move without provoking opportunity attacks, yes. Oh boy, well, here we go. They're, they're okay, being so charmed time... by something up. They're being charmed by something above us. Don't kill them. Okay, is this so... a movable space, Monty? Uh, no, it is not, unfortunately. Okay, that is a wall. That is a wall, uh, yeah. Since is I am yeah. grappled, I... since I am grappled, I can't move, can I? No, your no. movement is zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did oh, I see fine. Greckles get cleared? Yeah, but I'm you see him charging at Remy. Yeah, you can see his focus is definitely not on you anymore as it oh, was. Oh, my face is hot. <laughs> That's okay. my turn. Ah, oh, Borky's fine. Ah, thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, Borky's <laughs> being choked to death by a pit. It, it, it literally is a dust cloud over there. It... 
That ends your turn, Panic? Yes. Borky, it is now your turn. You are grappled currently. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, I'm not gonna do anything fancy here. I just wanna see if I can, are we like in a hole? We were digging, you mentioned. You guys were like digging just on a wall. You didn't really make too much, <clears throat> like, you didn't make too much out of it. So you are currently where you are standing. So Borky wants to like just kick off and just fall backwards and roll through essentially to get break, to break the chokehold <laughs> on him. So do you want to attack him or do you want to get free of the grapple? I want to break free of the grapple. Okay, so go ahead and roll an athletics check. May I go into a rage before I do that because it's yes, pissing me off. That'll Porky give you goes, advantage. Porky goes into a rage. And Ooh, son, son of a bitch. 26. Yeah. Easy enough. You grab the front Ooh. of the pig and you just flip him over your back and slam him into the ground. I immediately grapple him instead. Uh, that would take an action, and it took an action to get free of the grapple, unfortunately. Oh, okay, so, um... So you've used your action and your bonus action. You have movement left. I have movement left? Well, I'm gonna stay right here and stand across from the guy, essentially. Okay, sounds good. Task, it is now your turn. Assuming you move... Um... Closer to combat, I'm gonna say you're about here. Okay, because I, I just wanted to double check mm. and see if I still had range, but from here, absolutely, I have range. Yeah, you're totally uh, good. Pass Hunter's Mark onto Remy. Okay, bonus mark, bonus action, Hunter's Mark onto Remy. Yep, and subdue to hit. Let's go. All right. 28. Wow. Hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Eight subdue. Eight piercing damage to you, Remy. Hold on, let me do math. Uh, so this goes here. Okay. And then wisdom saving throw for me. I have a question for you, Monty. Yes? Would Remy know if it's possible that if he breaks out of this, it could be done to somebody else? Do you have no idea what's going on right now in your head? Then Remy's going to choose to fail the wisdom saving throw. You can't. You have, you have to make the wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> you have to? You have to, yes. Yes, because it's the real you being yeah. shook and awake, essentially. Yeah, that, you're not... You're being, like, aroused awake from this stupor. It's not like... So do I do I know that I was actually controlled or am I just like awake from some kind of weird sleep? You have some memories of what happened, but in terms of right now, your focus is elsewhere. But like you, you know, you have a feeling that you were because like something about what happened in the past, you know, while feels like a blur to mm. you. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if I was self-conscious of what happened or not. I know you want to beat up Mark, but go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw. I'm I sorry. listen, I know you guys want to be the heel. Wait, sorry, wait, that. wait. Thank it's you. It's a nat 20, but I'm going to use Indomitable to re-roll it. Why? God. You can re-roll a failed saving throw with Indomitable. Technically, I'm under control. Julian. It is a failed save in their eyes. I'm no, going to use Indomitable. you're not no. under control. <sighs> Damn it. Right. That's what you get for wanting I'm that so bad. I'm sorry I ruined your fun, Bosco. <laughs> That's what you get for wanting it so bad. That'll teach you. Yeah, you were way too excited before this session, Ed. That'll teach you. <laughs> All right. And Remy, now he's going to shake by, like, your head and decibels. blink a couple of times. No, he's now really dizzy. You have a headache, but you're back. Task. Yeah. That was your action and your bonus action. What else would you like to do? Uh, can I see this play? I obviously heard uh, uh, panic, right? Yeah. Uh, I look up at the ceiling and see where the fuck this thing is. Uh, go ahead for me and just roll a perception check. Uh, the save will be lower just because it should take a proper action. Fuck sake, 11. 11. You look up, you just see stalactites. That's all you see is darkness and stalactites. All right, fine. I just fucking bop the dude who's fighting Borky with a fucking subdue attack with my arrow. Okay. I just, I, I don't even fucking aim. I don't even look at him. I just si I just aim to the side and just fire and you hit him in the leg. It. <laughs> all right, that hits. Nine, nine subdue. Get gone. As you shoot, like... Uh, Borky, you're about to go and, like, really lay into this guy. You watch as Tass shoots, and the head just rips off, and inside... I said subdue! It doesn't matter. Not for these. Um, as you... You can't subdue an object. As you shoot the body, the head rips off, and inside is just cotton and a bunch of little tiny baby spiders that come spilling out of the neck. Oh, hole. Jesus! Gross. Okay, I no. don't feel as no. bad anymore. <laughs> Siggy! It's happening! What? It's a joke. Okay. 
I'll believe you. Okay, uh, well, task immediately watch... just goes from, oh, fuck, I just murdered a civilian. Oh, thank God! <laughs> yeah, you watch as, like, just, like, it's, like, this kind of metallic-looking, wiry, almost, like, fishing line-looking, like, coiled up, bundled up, like, cotton thread on the inside, and you just see little, little spiders coming out of it. It's fucking like, spilling out. Yeah, it's pretty nasty, and the body just boom, slumps to the ground. Oh god. <laughs> that's that's turn. Alright, Remy, it is now your turn. Uh, fucking shatter on everybody that's over there, the NPCs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bosco, I just want you to know that your disappointment in not having been able to kill me is sending me right now. Mm. <laughs> he wanted to send you to another dimension, Man, I, actually. Now I actually feel bad. Like <laughs> legit. <laughs> don't no, feel bad. Don't. Thanks, thanks Task, you ruined our fun. Uh, it's three D eight, right? Your fun should not include killing your party member. Constitution it's throw, it's 3d8 and... for constitution yeah, saves, yeah. Eight damage. Con uh, 13 DC. Are they constructs too? Because they would have uh, disadvantage. We have no idea. <laughs> That's literally going to hit every NPC and maybe panic. Uh, inorganic, inorganic materials. What's yeah. the saving throw? Uh, it's con, I believe. If it's, if it's a 10 foot cube, it's not going to hit this. Yeah, then you're good. They take half damage if they succeed, right? Correct. That is definitely a failure. That is a that is a failure. That is a failure. That is a success. And then you did eight damage. Yep. Okay, hold on. I just gotta. Uh, wow, that's exactly what you needed for him. Dead, dead. Half that's dead. So you watch as the explosion ricochets and you just see an explosion of jerky like body parts and the same similar cotton. And as it explodes out, there's just like the ground is crawling. It's filled with baby spiders just crawling ha, around. Pierce is <laughs> <laughs> going, oh God, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's really horrific. Um, one survived though, and it's currently like the arm is gone and like you can see the cotton thread kind of holding up the arm mid air as it's kind of swinging side to side. And you guys begin to hear more screeching from up above. Furious, angry screeching. Yeah. <laughs> it is still your turn, Remy. Is there anything else you want to do? Nope, I'm good. Okay. It is now the enemy's turn. Oh, God. Bork Borky, mm -hmm. you watch as one of the stalactites above you unfolds into a spider that immediately <laughs> crashes down in front oh, of geez. you. Jesus. You see it rear up. It's, it's made of stone. The entire body is made up of, of sharp, almost like stalactite like stone. The eyes are like these emeralds that run down the length of the body with two large rubies on the top. The the back end is really large and the legs themselves look very armored. Uh, this thing looks pissed. And as it comes down, you notice as there's almost like threads attached to the body you just destroyed. Uh, and it is going to. Is uh, Borky, it can only you know you know the terror that one artist draw, rendition of the guy holding his face going. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like Borky. Borky goes full chibi mode in this. Full Mr. In, in Bill this shot. All right. What are we uh, do here? I'm oh, sad. The spider finger. came down. Uh, I was gonna try and do something cool. Can't do that because that's destroyed. Sorry, I'm just looking at fun abilities here, and by that I mean not fun for you. Oh no. I'm just saying pelican spider. You keep yeah. saying it. It doesn't I'm gonna make keep it any doing better. It. I'm going to keep <laughs> doing it until <laughs> everyone's annoyed. Okay. We're going to do a searing bite attack on you, Borky. Uh, no. Oh, God. Uh, that is going to be a 23 to hit you, Borky. That hits me. Okay. I need more dice. Diana, hit me up. No. <laughs> no. Don't worry. I'll, I'll send out emails tonight. Thank Things you. the player never wants to hear the DM say. I need more I dice. Need more dice. Things the DM doesn't uh, want to hear the DM say. All right, Cage, who dice. wants to drive through that cactus patch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, you don't 14. see any traps. <laughs> 14. You take 12 points of piercing damage, which is cut in half to six. Thank you for that. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, no, that's... Oh, no! 
Four. Do you have mindless rage? No, I do not have mindless rage. As that. the fangs pierce into your flesh and bite into your jugular, you manage to grab the spider and shake it off, but your head just like pounds and a trickle of blood runs down your nose as you take an additional nine points of psychic damage. Mindless rage, you can't be charmed or frightened while raging. Yeah, but this is psychic yeah. damage, so. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. It's just add on damage. So, so you, you do have, have mindless rage. You're raging. Uh, I do have mindless rage? I... Yeah, yeah. So yeah you, it's a barbarian thing. thing, you should have it's it. It's a dude. berserker thing, I think, as well. Six, yeah, sixth level, you should have gotten that. Ooh, so you big, can't be charmed, roar. so you're fine. As long as he's raging. As long yeah, as you're mad. Yeah, as long as I'm raging. Be mad all the time. Be of Bruce Banner. <laughs> Actually, oh, I'm so angry about video games! <laughs> that is spider number one. Oh, fuck, he's unstoppable. Number one? Oh, number wait. one. Number one! Number one! Number one! one. one. <laughs> in front of you, panic. No thanks! We number already gave two. today! You destroyed their toys, so now they're pissed. They're coming down. Another oh, searing, God. Another searing bite. That's going to be a 21 to hit you, Panic. Oh, yeah, that hits. Uh, ooh, this is way nastier than the other one. Uh, take 15 points of piercing damage. <laughs> and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me punch this 15 damage in first. Punch it. Punch it. Punch the case, for God's sake. Uh, 13. Nope, that is a failure. You take an additional nine points of psychic damage. Ow! My brain! Uh, uh, my brain! My brain! Okay, that brings us now to... Hellish Rebuke! Oh, Hellish, okay, okay, Jesus! <laughs> Anger! <laughs> And for Connor, my reaction, Connor, Connor, <laughs> Connor, you're really intense right now. I just really need you to calm down. Fuck you, Bosco. <laughs> Mister, you guys don't stand a chance. Oh, we're going to kill you dead. Uh, 14. Uh, Saving fail. throw on the dexterity. Okay, go ahead and roll damage. Hellish Rebuke. Hellish Rebuke. I believe this is cast at second level. Hang on. Scream is at him. Your butt's stupid. Uh, Infernal Legacy. At second level, yes. Okay, so they'll take. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Uh, 18, 18 fire damage. Let me just check to see if they're resistant to that. Ouch, skis. Please don't be. They are not. So it takes the full amount of damage. You watch as some of the stone outside gets red hot, like a heat metal spell, even though this thing's not made of metal. And you watch as it recoils inwards. It's like mandibles tuck inwards, and it screeches out as it takes 18 points of fire damage. So let me just calculate that really quick. Wow. Yeah, that really hurt it. All right. The third enemy... Her. No. is going to ah! turn down the shitty kid as he <laughs> likes to have called him uh, he is going to aim for the three of you don't you with, fucking shot web at me with a headache web fuck <laughs> oh, my web. brain my so, brain <laughs> said so don't shot web he needs to hit you guys first though uh, my brain Wait, but who is the aiming at? Do we, he's, gonna, do we, he's, gonna, he's gonna aim for Greckles. Do we see him coming? I mean, I imagine. They're descending down from the roof, yeah. You yeah. notice that all the stalactites on the roof might be spiders? You're not sure. Oh, no. There's a lot of spiders. Oh, good. <laughs> no, question, but question, we see stalactites and roof. There's not more like roof we can't see in darkness, is there? There is darkness. It's really okay. hard to see up above. Darkness. Right. So... to be a miss actually that's an 11. oh Ooh. boy so as it kind of brings its like bottom end forward and like launches out this web towards you greckles you manage to duck out of the way as it fails to hit you that is very lucky and number four number four is coming down number four ladies and gentlemen this is spider number four I'm just going to put him <laughs> here for now because... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Too big. Uh, I think he is going to... <laughs> Salud. 
I thought that's like cheers. Uh, it's it is. also it, like bless. It oh. can be both. You know what, Seika? Fuck you. I'm gonna have it. No. What the fuck? <laughs> wow! Wow! I didn't I'm even say that. I'm sensing a lot of aggro right now. Oh, uh, she's getting in on it. She's getting in on it. The energy's carrying I, over. I missed again. That's a 14. She, she's absorbing oh. all the Bosco hate, <laughs> like a Canadian goose. <laughs> The oh. fifth spider descends. For fuck's sake! There's gonna be six of them. Uh, One for every person. Yeah. It is going to climb up the wall and move, actually. Get your cheaters, get her. It has, what's its movement here? 30 feet of climbing movement, so it's gonna skitter, 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 get her over here. And it is going to aim for Remy with the headache web. It's Hopefully. gonna try. Oh, my brain. Brain. Ooh, it is 25. Guess it's gonna hit. Sorry. Brain. Oh, it rolled an 18. Brains, brains. Oh. Uh, you are now restrained. Lovely. And you are going to take some damage. You are going to take 13 points of psychic damage as this thing hits you. Your head just boom pulses with this agonizing pain. Uh, excuse me. Is there anything physical about it, like with the restraint, or is that like a mental restraint? Kind it of is thing? a physical restraint. It is webbing, like a spider web. Oh. Oh God. Webbing, gnarly ass so webbing. It's, so it's so it's it's physical webbing webbing that induces headaches. It does give you a headache, yeah, okay. when it hits you initially. So God, that's it's like weird. a it's webs made of raw nerves. Oh God. Uh. Yeah. All right. Now, it's the false Rantula Major's turn. Huh? I'm sorry. We are finished? Jesus Christ. I am not fit. There's a lot of fucking enemies here. Remember when I said it would have been great to go before the enemies? Yeah. Why are there so many rock spiders? Descending down. Tap. <laughs> I need you to Hello? make a wisdom saving throw for me. Just a straight wit. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, here's my wisdom. Here we go. Yahoo. <clears throat> D20? Okay. Oh, oh the nat 20 on the other side of 10. You are now dominated. Oh, for fuck. fuck. And then this one needs to move. You know what? I'll take that. No, <laughs> fuck off. Actually, you know what? It's going to go for Remy again. Because it's nearest to Remy. Uh, Remy, make a, uh, make a wisdom saving throw for me. 21. Okay, you're fine. You watch as this thing focuses in on you, and you like feel that mm -hmm. influence again, and you kind of wince your eyes shut, and you're like, no, and you shake it off. But they have revealed themselves. These ones are bigger. By the way, if you're asking why there's no art, Jack is an arachnophobe. I didn't want to ask him to do that. So that would be bad. That would be bad. Yeah. yeah no. So, so that's why we're using just basic spider. It's a rock spider. You totally Enjoy fair. your spiders. Enjoy spider. All right. That ends the enemy's turn. That brings us around to Greckles. It is now your turn with Seika to follow. All right, let's uh, let's see if I can do this again. Also, uh, quick question, Zito, don't you have a reroll that you could have used? Don't I? You do. You can use your aspect, aspect of, of AOs. AOs. Yeah, your if. You if. Want, like you could. Save oh, can me. I? Can I do that? Yeah, you can use it on any roll you want. If you I want guess to something. no, I didn't want a meta game, but I'm like, you would know that you have that if you want to do it. All right, well, let me try one more time. Yeah, 12. No, it was not meant to be. Ah, jeez. Good okay. thought, though. Good, good thought. That'd be the place to use it. So. crazy. I'm no. help. See, Task, I'm helpful. You know, it, it's simply, you know, it was simply a matter of time for Tass to fucking murder everyone. I was just waiting for it to happen. <laughs> I'm just joking. Can't believe it. And you it. all thought it was fucking season one, Task. <laughs> nope. All right, they always told you it's the quiet God. ones you have to it's watch. It's Majin Task. <laughs> ignoring the loud mirror, <laughs> mirror, mirror image. Mirror image uh, for action. Okay. I'll let you have this one. Get a little bush. <laughs> <laughs> little, little bushy no jutsu going on over here. So kind of you. Um, By the way, uh, these two larger taran like tarantulas, they're called false tarantulas. Uh, they are currently hanging from the roofs. So they are not on the ground. They're currently about 30 feet up in the air, each of them. So we can't even attack them? Oh, not well, in, and if you have a range attack. attack. They probably targeted task for a reason. Moving over here, and I'm just going, ah! Nickertide, who's it gonna be? 
Team Pick Todd. Me. Team Pick Todd. Me. Team Todd. Stop talking. It sucks. I mean, that's true. Fuck uh, Nick. Where is Nick? Where are you? He's dead. Too late. Todd. Oh no, Monty. Uh -oh. Nick is Nick is gone from my attacks and spell casting. What the fuck? Nick and Todd Nick are gone. Dead. They're dead. Wait, both of them are gone. <laughs> Here, oh, I'll just shit. I'll just I'll just roll a dart instead. It's the same damage. It's the same damage. Shit. Ha! Hold on. I'll get wow. you. Wow. That's oh, my it's gone anyway. Hold on. I'll get you Nick and Todd. It's very important. That's why you failed because you didn't have Nick or Todd. Oh, so can I re-roll then since it wasn't technically Nick or Todd? <laughs> yeah, I'll let you re-roll because I need to fix Oh, it. blessings. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, it's so weird when you're controlling it. I know. You can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, it's the it's spiders, a... Gaijin. They're in your character sheet. The spiders are in my character Todd? The spiders. Was it Todd, spiders spiders was, it, was it Todd with two Ds or one D? I can't one. remember. It was one okay. D. It was one. Thank you. All right, there's Nick and Todd. Go for All it. All right. Todd, go! Todd! Team Todd! But Todd? There he goes. Hey, Opa, that's a 19. Hey. Or no, it's a 21, excuse 21, me. It, it 21, 21. 21. No sneak attack, though. This thing is very aware of where you are. Oh, no, that's completely fine. So it takes one point of damage. Okay, Wee. it takes one point of damage. This one is currently controlling. <laughs> Sorry. You hit it in its side, and it turns down and stares towards you. You have a feeling that this was the one that controlled you. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. That's fine. But I don't, but that doesn't, uh... Okay, so so there is no other effect from being hit, for it being hit, correct? Uh, this? Uh, it yeah. does need to make a concentration check, yes. But... Oh, actually, shit! Huh? I'm an idiot. It should have done its... Where is it? It has an ability... Where the fuck is it? <laughs> yeah, I would have done this. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> Web of Lies. Uh, the False Friendship you can cast Dominate Person. It cannot target the same creature twice. As a bonus action, the false tarantula can go into its shell, giving it an AC of 23, but it can take no other actions on its turn. I did not do that, but i that's my fault. So you do hit, and it does have to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, it succeeds. It's totally fine. Roll Curses. 17 plus 1, so it's 18. It's fine. Darn, buh. Darn, buh. Well, that's all I got. All right. That brings us around to Seika. It is now your turn. You see Remy currently restrained. Finally, he's been stopped in front of you. <laughs> but you do look up and you do see the stone tarantula coming down, glaring towards you. Uh, I was going to ask, are any of the ones that I can currently see that have been indicated on the map, uh, are any of them the one that I saw just before I started this combat? The one right in front of you. Cool. And he's 30 feet up, yeah? He's 30 feet up in the air, yeah. But that's a wall now, right? That is a wall, yes. Cool. Uh, I'm going to run up the wall. Okay. And <laughs> I'm going to uh, basically get on top of the spider and punch it down. Okay. Not fucking around. C. So, C. 13. Does not hit, unfortunately. You run up the wall and you punch it. It is solid rock, and you're like, ah! With your your knuckles are getting the greatest workout of your life right now. I'm Between going the metal to metal armor of Remy and the rock body of this spider. I'm going to clench and channel and punch again. Nice. Sixteen. That just hits. Cool. Have some damage. Okay. Seven damage. I'm going to spend a key point for some stunning strike, baby. Just to confirm, your fists are magical? They are. All right. You punch down and crack some of the stone, and you're going to go for a stunning strike. So con saving throw. DC is 13. Ooh, not great. 13. Does Ty go to attacker on a... Yes. Aggressor wins, so he is now stunned. Does he, does he drop because he's stunned? Uh, he was clinging to the wall. I will say yes. I'll let him fall yeah. because flavor, flavor wise, it makes the most sense. So he's I'm gonna ride him down. <laughs> Just standing, <laughs> arms folded. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ride him down. 
He's going to take eight additional bludgeoning damage from falling. As he crashes to the ground, the ground shakes around you guys as you see Seika currently standing on the back of the spider that is currently trying to, like, like the limbs are twitching. It's trying to move, but it is stunned at the moment. It is no longer 30 feet in the air. It is now on the ground. And offhand attack. All right. Stunned, so... 11. Stunned, though, so it's with advantage. 12. Oh, okay, 12. (laughs) <laughs> uh, still doesn't work. You go to you're like yeah. I don't even know where to punch this thing. You just punch randomly and you hit a leg and nothing happens. Unfortunately, I would really like to roll above a ten today. Thanks, dude. But it's fine. Done. You psycho crusher to spider. I kind of did. <laughs> All right, that ends your turn, Seika. That's it. Yeah. All right, Panic is now your turn with Borky to follow. You are you just look behind you, Panic, and there's just yeah. four giant spiders. I hear. Now. I hear. I like my shoulders like r- like jerk whenever I hear the thud thud. And I slow turn around, see like three gigantic spiders behind me. <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> I'm I know that a lot of things have transpired between the many of us. And I'm sure we can come to and then he strums his guitar really hard. Fourth level shatter on all of them. Okay. <laughs> Does it hit all of them or uh it will hit all three of these and this guy, but not the one on the wall. Yeah, okay. So that's a constitution saving throw? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if they're if they're considered constructs... Uh, oh, what the fuck? No. They are not. They're considered, they're, they're considered uh, elementals for the sake oh, of this. All right. Well, then... Constitution saving throw. Uh, 15 for the first one. Fail. Okay. Failure. I have so many notes out right now. The one to the to the um, uh, south of it. Uh, that's terrible. That's an eight. Fail. And the one to the north there. Uh, th- hey, Mark. Guess who else is having shit rolls today? <laughs> uh, that is a failure as well. That's a two plus nothing. Uh, plus. so failures all around. Yeah, failures all around. That's gonna mean they're gonna take. Oh, come on. Fourth level shatter gives me that. They take 15 thunder damage. 15 thunder damage. Let me just calculate that really fast. Mm hmm. The one closest to you is looking really rough. 15, so that's gonna be. A creature made of inorganic material such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on this saving throw. Well, either way, they all failed, failed, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind for next time. Yep. As these things crumple, you watch as a bunch of stones blast through the air. There are other elementals in here, by the way. There's, like, little stone elementals that are now running for the fucking hills. As this <laughs> Full gallop dirge just running. They're in the uh, hills. I was gonna say! <laughs> they look like little, little, uh... That guy, yeah, that guy got hit, too. I, I Bro, calculated AOEs it. are going off. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this guy here as well. I completely forgot about him. Yeah, that's, that's what I was pointing at. Natural one, gone. It yeah. explodes into bloodied matter and threads. Oops, all spiders. Oops, all spiders. I sort of, I sort of, like, unplug my ears and look up and see they're all still there. Ah. Shit. At this moment, Panic, you hear a message into your mind. Hi, Panic, it's Solly. You told me to check in. <laughs> Are you doing okay? You can respond when you have a chance. I hope everything's great. As you hear the voice in your mind, you just hear the spider like rear up on both legs, just screaming at you. <laughs> Steve said the phone spiders. I'll, I'll message her and back. The phone spiders. Gonna have to get to you in a second. <laughs> S- spiders! <laughs> <laughs> Spiders, they want me to tap dance. Uh, and I'm going to use my bonus action to down a greater healing potion. Okay. Uh, okay, greater is 44 plus 4 or something? I believe it is. Yes. Looking it up right now, because I should know that, but I don't. Yeah, 44 plus 4. Uh, if, it, if it's a willow potion, then it's going to be a 44 plus 5. So you should note down when you have willow potions because the additional points I, are based this, off the first I don't, I don't think this is a, this is a willow okay. one. So then that's going to be, yeah, 44 plus 4. 44 willow. plus 4. Uh, nice. 13. Nice. 
pretty good. Okay, let me put that in. Are okay. you staying where you are? Or are you moving? Just no. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the attack of opportunity, and I'm fucking booking it. Okay. Uh, oh, terrible! Natural one on the Excellent. opportunity attack. I'm gonna roll the severity. Please, please have him stab himself. Uh, I rolled the exact same severity as your natural one, Mark. So it, he just misses. All right. Fine. Sorry. I rolled the you same this dice time. severity, oh, yeah. just so I'm fair. <laughs> this Dracona dice is so nice, but it rolls so low all the time. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Die Hard Dice. No, Die Hard Dice. Give me a better Dracona set. Please. Die Hard Dice That's... Flash. That's going to be my turn. All right, you go running towards Borky and Task. <laughs> Borky, it is now your turn. There's a giant spider in front of you. I look around to see if see if there's any areas that are not currently coated in spider. Uh, uh, there are spiders fucking everywhere in this chamber right now. Borky uh, doesn't have any blood in his head for a while because Borky's just... <laughs> so Borky, enraged, Borky whips out Ronthal because finally... <laughs> no more disadvantage. You hear a voice in your head go, At last. My favorite plane. And Borky, with reckless attack activated. All right, so with advantage. That's two attacks with advantage then. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, 19. 19, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Ooh, 13 plus three. <laughs> One second, that's gonna be 16 points of damage. That's gonna bring it down. You slash off one of its legs and the rock goes crumpling to the ground as the creature like bulks on one side and lets out this horrible scream of distress. You're not even the first giant spider I've killed! Second swing. Okay. Natural oh, one! Thank no, God 20. you have advantage. No, you have you have advantage. 20. Yeah! yeah! Good thing you frenzied attacks. So that hits as well, 20 hits. 13 points of damage. All right, that's one second. I just got to calculate here. You swing again and slash into the front of it. This thing is still standing, but it is looking terrible. Oh boy, here's hoping it doesn't look much lush for me. And that ends my turn. All right, task. A voice enters your mind. The blue one doesn't listen. I think he can understand the feeling of pain, don't you? Fire twice upon him and move your hunter's mark there. Meanwhile, the f the four Greckles are doing that like crouch spin around with like the mirror. All right, I guess it's happening. Here I go. Bonus action: move hunter's mark over. Yep. Does he automatically get it on the real one? Yeah, Hunter's Mark is the spell. It hits the actual person you see. It's not an attack. It has to be an yeah. attack for it to take effect. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so yep. go ahead, task, and make a short bow attack. 19. All right. And then we have to yep. roll for the uh, illusions here. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, what was it? A 20? Yeah, it was a d20. I'm good. All right. So it hits an illusion. Yep. All right. Illusion Five, takes 10, ten. to your thing. All right. Second okay. shot. Oh, oh my fucking god, are you serious? Oh, wow. That. But hey. we'll see if it hits an illusion. Uh, boy, hang on, what do I need to roll? Let's see, first god. one was six, Damn. and then it was eight? eight. So, yeah, eight, eight or higher. I have a memory task of getting shot in the Hey! Yeah, oh, oh, hey, sir! Oh. One for one, baby. All right, I got one left. You see one of the Greckles just has a really stupid face, Tav. <laughs> like a really <laughs> dumb face. And you're like, fuck that Greckles in particular. Fuck that you one in particular. It, and you destroy it. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm not even fucking rolling the Hunter's Mark because there's no point at this at this mm. juncture. Well, it didn't All hit. Right, that's turn. Yeah. yeah, nice, good turn. That's what do you mean, good turn? <laughs> What? For you me? didn't kill your friend. Good turn. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Remy, you are restrained still. It is now your turn. You That's fine. I cast Shatter on Task. Oh, God. Why? Okay. Why? Uh, that's why? 16 points of damage because I just saw him shoot Greckles. But why Shatter? 
You can angle it to hit the spider too as well. It is gonna hit the spider. It's gonna be on, so it's on the square the task is on. It's gonna hit the spider and miss Borky. All right, make a constitution saving throw. 10. That Enjoy. is a failure. So you're gonna take 16 points of thunder damage. Buddy the gets spider, a wisdom saving throw. The spider succeeds and takes half, uh, but it takes double because it's made of stone. So 16, so it still so takes, takes 16. 16. So it's dead. It actually crumbles. Let's go! Down. Crumble. Make a wisdom saving throw for me, Task, as you take the damage. Oh, there nice. it is. Hey. You're welcome. You are shaken <laughs> from your mind control. As my fucking my body gets flung into the wall and I fall off and hit my face. <laughs> this family guy <laughs> falls. Son of a bitch, Remy! It's just like, welcome I'm up, I'm realm. up. And then it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it, it was, I mean, how many ranged attacks does he have, especially I would, when listen, restrained? So, oh. for those of you who are confused and think I'm just doing this because I'm a sore loser, I, I fire my weapons with disadvantage, so I Wait. can't use the crossbow. The spell does is not shatter, negated. Does shatter require a movement to do? Because you are It does not. Okay, shatter is cool. components. It's just a spell, I mean, right? It's Bosco, just a spell. Love game, I understand. Oh, okay. I just well, wish you had something else I, I could do the chat it. It's like, man, he just wants to kill Task. I'm like, no, that's oh. the most effective no, one to break it. game, that was a good play. Yeah. <laughs> I just wish you hadn't done basically max damage to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, I killed the thing, all right? Remy, does that end your turn? It does. How long does stun last, Seika, on a target? Uh, it is till my, uh, I believe it's till my next turn. Okay. Yeah, the, the start of your next turn. Done. This right, right, right. Well. This spider right, right, right. is going to move over to Remy on the wall. It's going to immediately dash to Remy. Oh, yeah. It's the end of my next turn, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's fucking stunning strike. Is very oh, wait. Strong. I have to roll concentration. On Hunter's Mark? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yes. absolutely. Go for it. Yeah, I get to keep good. it. You're good. You're fine. Unrestrained. Uh, speed is zero. Attack rolls against creature advantage. And. Okay, awesome. So, this spider clink crawls down the wall and is going to make a bite attack on you. It's going to try. Advantage. That is going to be a 23 to hit. He's going to cast shield, so no. All right, you bring up the shield with your reaction and block the pin the giant mandible pincers. Like, they're probably at least, like, half a foot long that just crash into the magical shield. Uh, Greckles, you hear the sound of rumbling feet. Buffy. Oh, God. As this one is going to... Oh, I gotta see if they recharge their abilities as well. So let me get... Do you get back your thing? Is that number three? No, that's number four. Number four needs to check too. They do not. Okay. This one is going to lunge in the air and is going to attack you as well. Burr. Uh, That is going to be a 22 to hit. Mm-hmm. Let me roll. Uh... What is it? I think it's six, 11. eight, it's eleven. Yes. Oh, my bird bones. Oh. Nope. I need to make a wisdom saving throw for me as well. Bird brain go. Except it does not. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. You take on, eighteen get... points of piercing damage. Oh God. A really big bite. Okay, hang on a second. Ooh. Hang on. Now, now now I must math. So minus 18. Uh-huh. And an additional 12 points of psychic damage. The As migraine <laughs> nibble. You feel your head just pulse with agony. Okay. All right. Mm, panic. Ah! Mm, sick, uh... <laughs> Panic. <laughs> this spider, after missing its bite on you, is going to just rush after you. Uh, 17 to hit you. That will hit. Right. Oh, that's a pathetic roll. Oh my god. Uh, you take 8 points of piercing damage, and I need to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Wisdom save. Natural. Oh, are you oh, kidding me? One. Fuck you, roll you 20. Wow, guy. Buffett. Fuck you too, buddy. You take an additional 14 points of psychic damage as the fangs... Not good. ...go into you. 
Not yeah. good. Hellish Last... rebuke. Oh, you already used it though. Uh, this is the end of my next turn. I have my reaction again. But it's only once. I think you can only cast it once as a team link. You're right. No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Mm. Yeah, you can only use it once, unfortunately. This yep. spider uh, is going to run and is going to right. uh, attack you, Seika. Hey, uh, don't. Hey, uh, I don't think it's going to, because that's a 15. Please do not. Uh, wait. I haven't had a turn yet, right? Uh, Since no. I took my... Oh, no, I did. So, yeah, it hits. Oh, okay. Because I don't have the dodge bonus anymore, so that's my AC. You take 13 points of piercing damage, and I need to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Question, is this a charm effect? No, it is not. It is just a damage. Okay. It's, just just raw, damage. it's just raw psychic. Yeah. 13. Damage. That is so sad. You take an additional two points of psychic damage. Fuck! My brain! How can how can brains made of fire take migraine? Branba. Anything, anything can get a migraine. If you try hard enough. I'm right. god damn it if that's not a mood. <laughs> so you've been trying to you've been trying to panic. Mm -hmm. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me as you god. feel a presence creep into your mind. No. <laughs> Quick, give yourself bardic inspiration. Eleven. I'm you going to now. use my inspiration. Nope. Fuck that. Okay. I'm using my inspiration. Ah. Huh. Uh, nope. I hate this game. You are now mind controlled by the spider that mind controlled. Fuck. Uh, I was Reckley. kidding. Me to counter charm. God damn it. And it is going to, with that attack and its web of lies, is going to turn into a stalactite, and it becomes basically this hardened, pointed shape. Its AC is going to go up, and it's in a defensive position, but it can no longer do anything else. It's fucking it placed over. itself face down in defense mode and ended its turn? Yep. The what other one it? can't do shit because it's stunned, so it's just going to remain stunned. Uh, but panic, you are now... I need your spell list, actually. It is extensive. Ooh, it is very extensive and very fun. Very extensive, Douglas. <laughs> Don't get too used to it. It's not going to last. Extensive, Douglas. We got you, buddy. <laughs> You're going to kill me. That's right. these, the greatest thing about these things is that they're very smart. Ooh. Yeah? Is that a good thing? Though? That could be really stinky. Okay. Uh, that is going to end the enemy's turn. That's going to bring us around to Greckles. It is now your turn. Hmm. Me hum 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 hum. Yes. I wonder what action you're going to take. Yes. <laughs> hmm. That's not going to work there. Well, I'm going to offhand bring the sunblade down on this uh, son of a bitch that bit my shoulder. Okay. <laughs> 19. Ooh. 19. That hits. No sneak attack. For five. For five radiant damage. That's offhand strike. Uh huh. Okay. You offhand strike this guy. That activates mobile, so I don't take uh, advantage opportunity attacks. Um, how high in the air is this thing, by the way? 30 feet up in the air. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. What to do? Um,. You know, this would actually probably be more effective. I'm going to do dead, or I'm going to use my 40 feet movement, go here. As far as you know, as well, you do not know that panic is currently dominated as well. But the I only did time know is when they act. So like with with Remy's, he saw that task fired at his allies and knew. So just keep that in mind when characters are dominated. If you don't know, then you don't know because there's no visual indicator. What about what about this dude who just transformed? Like you who, don't who know about that. Him. That's metaing because I know that. I technically shouldn't have read that out loud, but that is. Well, no. I would I would I not visibly see it shrink no. up up in itself. You did see it shrink up in itself. But you don't know what that means. Oh no no no! I know that. I know that. But I am aware that that's the thing that mind controlled me. Correct? You are. Yeah. You recognize the face of it. Okay, in that case, uh, let's see if Nick can do any damage to it. Okay. Hey, up. 21. Does mm -hmm. not hit it, as its defense has been bumped up to 23. 
Well, that's disgusting. Uh, you throw it out and like just Nick just bounces off, and you're like, "Holy shit!" Fuck you, Nick. All right, then I guess that's turn. Should throw me, bro. Says Todd. Oh, fuck you, Todd. <laughs> All right, Seika, it is now your turn. Uh, there's a lot of danger going on here. Yeah, there's a lot of danger. Uh, I would like to reach out my hand. Uh, somebody say that. Somebody say. Can I can I produce flame on the web that is restraining Remy? Uh, like okay, specifically roll, the web. Roll an intelligence check for me on the web. Oh no. Uh, five. Oh my fucking lord. Okay, I can't say anything more than that. But yes, you do see the web in front of you. All right, it might it might help. I'm gonna produce flame on the web specifically, okay. uh, trying click, very hard not to burn Remy. Can you click produce flame for yeah. me? Oh no, that's the attack. Hang on. <laughs> I mean, that web. Okay, you missed anyway. You're fine. fine. Hit damage. Hit hit damage on it if it does damage. That it web's does. fucked, man. Yeah. Yeah. Give me give me the damage. Boom. Twelve fire damage. To the Gone. Web. The web is just completely eaten up and burnt away by your fire. It seems to be vulnerable to it. So, Remy, uh, you are now no longer restrained. You are now freed. Going to kind of give a nod to Remy as I will then turn and offhand punch uh, this spider. Ah, you the jerk. one that bit you? Yes. All right. Ah, good jerk. And miss. <laughs> really miss, unfortunately. Yeah, you go to swing and you punch it in the side. And you're like, ah, why is everything made of rock? Uh... And I will go ahead and spend the key point this time for patient defense. Okay, you bring up your fists again. As you do so, the spider is no longer stunned. Yep. This brings us around to panic. It is Mom, do you turn. trust me? Do you trust me? You have to be you a trust bastard. Me? I trust you, yeah. I, oh, I'm going to be a huge bastard. Uh, well, I, I just got... I just went to the mind party that is the spider's mind goop, and... I want my friends to join me too, and they're they're putting up a fight. No. Uh, so I'm going to cast not that. <laughs> I'm I'm going to uh, spend a third level spot to cast Bane on all my friends. Okay. Charisma I need saving every... throws all around. I need everybody to make charisma saving throws for me. Fifteen. Natural I twenty. So charming. Fourteen. Okay. Thirteen. Can't... Eight. I have Task so many up. high rolls on the second die. Task is the only one who succeeds. All right, okay, where does that do? Uh, you get a, a D4s on all of your uh, attack rolls and saving throws. Reduce uh, reduce them by a D4. Okay. So yeah, every time you guys attack now, you have to roll a D4 and minus that from your We attack. saw him cast, right? He did that. You sure did, and you okay. all... You're all amazed because I can't believe Pan and Grimtongue released a diss track on all of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is it only on attack? I, I told you that in confidence. Saving throws and as well. Oh, shit. For my bonus action, I am going to look at the spider that's right next to me, and I'm going to say, "Hey, man, you know we had exchange uh, exchange some harsh words, but I think you got this." I'm going to give him bardic inspiration. Okay, you give him bardic inspiration. <laughs> the inspired spider. Do you want to move or are you staying where you are? He has a little hat yeah. now. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to actually just, I'm going to circle around him a little bit and say, go get him, buddy. Okay. Got him on the oh. thorax. That'll be hey, my Bennett, turn. I in my head, I'm like, I'm, in my head, I'm like, it's help! <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, ah, ah, like screaming as well. <laughs> as you're strumming them and doing terrible things. All right. Borky, it is now your turn with tasks to follow. Oh, oh, Panic, you made my life so much easier. Thank you. All righty. Uh, Borky's going to step over and move right towards... How high up is the one in yellow, or is it on the ground now? It's on the it... ground. This one in yellow on is the on ground. the ground. No, the yeah. one in yellow, it is currently unattackable. You mentioned? No, no, you can, no, you can hit him. him. Oh, beautiful. I'd like to hit him with my stick. You shut up. And Borky just runs up swinging. Standard attacks? Yeah, these are... Nope, reckless. Okay. Reckless, reckless. So first da attack... Da 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 da! Twenty five. Even with the D four, that wouldn't D4 stop that from hitting. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna prevent go ahead, anything. Go ahead and roll damage. 
10 plus 3, 13. Oh, it is dead. You inspire it, the spider, like you see a single tear, like, oh my god, someone <laughs> oh, believes in me. And then Borgie just comes up behind you and just chops its head. Nah. Borgie, what the fuck? I believe, Father. Oh! I had like a cool spider guy. Come on, man. What did you do? Why did you attack me? I want Borky to punch him right in the fucking face. All right, unarmed attack. Throw a lightning javelin through my. <laughs> unarmed Go attack. Go ahead and right roll the punch. So it's unarmed attack. Well, I can't. I can't wait. I already so. Well, yeah. No, actually, it's use one of my. You're fine. You're Se fine. You're fine. Seventeen. D four. Yeah. So click it for damage. No, but it's reckless. Oh, it's twenty five. Right. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So roll damage. Borky just runs up, at, blurred, out of focus, just punches you in the face. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> you have to roll damage, though. Oh, but it's non-lethal. It's okay, six. six plus three. <laughs> Ow! And roll a wisdom saving throw for me, Panic. Please. I love how this whole session is us punching nope. each other. Oh my god! Words um, hurt, Panic! Your friend. No, Borky's never been your friend. He just punched you in the face. What an asshole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna that roll spider was your new manager. I'm gonna roll constitution on my, uh... Your Bane. Bane. Yeah. Bane. Bane. No. Oh. No. Bane. Bane. Oh, and a fail. A fail. You're Ooh. not Bane anymore. Sick. Shoo. Dope. At least you got rid of the Bane, bro. Yeah, that's what the... Oh, I wanted to interrupt his shit. <laughs> you Thank you. <laughs> Is that in your turn, Borky? Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. The only way I can remember is, is Borky either coming out of nowhere and just haymakering him or just like Goku punching Jace in the face. <laughs> Panic's face is like, a, right. is like dented in and then slowly... <laughs> Task, it is now your turn. Remy, you're to follow. Moving over this way, uh, looking up at that fucking jerk-off spider and I'm casting slow. Which one? The one that's curled up in a ball. So remember that fucking AC bonus you got? If this oh, works, this getting fucking minus two to that. Good shit. Are you, using a, are you using a ranger slot for that, or are you using AOS? That's, I'm using that's AOS. AOS's ability. ability. You already, you already have, used the reroll for it, though. You can do both. You have both. So you have a reroll and you can use What? Yeah, I, mean, I, yeah I, have, I have the reroll and either devil? haste or slow. Yeah. Same with you. So you can either summon a dis you can do a discord devil and you can reroll. Oh, what? I thought it was one or the other this whole time. No, yeah, I've both. been told it was one or the other. Oh, God, oh, hang on. Well? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Audacity just crashed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, no. You should have both. Maybe I should check my mode. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a little disk space left. Fuck my ass. I mean. Oh, Gotta delete that poor. You oh, know what? Please. I'll mark. Let's take a break here while okay. Connor fixes it. Uh, oh, did I really have to use the restroom? So I'm going to use the bathroom. So we can, we can resync, Connor. So no pressure. Just take your time. We'll take a break All here. Right. We're on Task's turn. So we'll come back to that on Task's cool. turn. Cool. Time for the halftime show, guys. What's up, fam? Uh, <laughs> this is as a Con fun fight for me. This is Connor, really enjoyable. As, Con as Connor loses his mind. Great. I'm I, apparently I'm being booed. Why I am I being booed? I'm dominated. I got I got hit in the face, and you now sure I'm uh, 100 dash. bits from uh, a Kurzik. I love how into it y'all get when fighting your allies. There will be blood. Uh, Ed. Frostburn says, "How does it feel to get what you wanted, Bosco? Really good. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm having fun. I don't know." Uh, peg leg Bob with 200 bits. I'm so sorry, Bosco. You can't kill your friends. I don't have to. Monty's doing a good job. CG with 100 bits. Episode title Mental Cobwebs. Uh, Vulcan DD with 100 bits. If the offspring made a trad oh my god, it's scrolling so fast. If the offspring made a traditional Spanish rice dish, it would be a peril. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gosh, gosh darn it. Run in, run in, and run I like in, how man. I named the abilities. I love naming the, uh, the abilities. Uh, like, we like got leap spiders. bits from Blackfoot Ferret. Here's people talking about pelican spiders. Looks up pelican spiders on the internet. Redacted screaming. I want to look it up. I want to look up pelican spiders. Uh, Solar with 100 bits. Bosco, would you rather DM high fantasy or steampunk? Um, oh, right now, no. probably. What? Those are so cool looking. What the fuck? Those are wild looking. What? 
pelican spiders. They have such a weird, like, body yeah. frame. It's listen, so different. Okay, I'm back. I literally just heard. Pelican spiders, like, listen, I, I know arachnophobes are a thing, and I understand that. But pelican spiders are the size of a fucking grain of rice, and they're so goofy looking, I can't take them seriously. They're like peacock spiders. Like, peacock yeah. spiders are really cute. Wow, what a weird anatomy on an yeah. insect. And they it, only it, eat it other has, spiders. It has the, uh, kind of like the mouth, it looks like a, like, a spider and a vinegaroon had a weird baby. It's almost like the ogre face spider, except it's got a weird fucking head. Oh yeah, the ogre face spider. That's another one that's got a really interesting face too. I used to be terrified of spiders and I kind of got over it, so. Uh, sorry, to answer your question, Solar, uh, right now I've DM'd a lot of high fantasy before. I'd want to try steampunk. And specifically, I would want it to be kind of in the dishonored way where uh, it's Ooh. it's it's kind of like old like uh, Victorian era kind of stuff. And I don't oh, know if that's that shit rules. steampunk, but I really like Dishonored, so it'd be somewhere in there. I've done I've done one campaign thing like that. Uh, Burnout Vaughn with a hundred bits. So hey, Bosco, halftime show guests. What brilliant, charismatic individual forgot there was an episode while he was in disco and came in wondering why you were trying to kill everybody? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Bubba Bob with five hundred bits. Title suggestion: The Unexpectables and the Day of the Not So Itsy Bitsies. Noble 91 with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. I snake eyes with a thousand bits. So if Remy became Rumi and Greckles became Dinky, what would panic and task mind control names be? Uh, uh, Ponic. Ponic and Tunk. I was about to say Tunic, but that's dumb. Tu <laughs> tunic. Fucking damn it. Uh, Art and Salt with a hundred bits left me off say, this spot. I was going to say Task. Tasp. 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 I like Tasp. Tasp water. I like Tasp a lot. Uh, let me off this spider infested train. Just some undead dude with 200 bits. You guys got this. Bosco Mori is so cool. Taka Durst is amazing. And Monty, Tori is best girl. Yes. He's even cool when he's making people miss him by not hitting them, but keeping their attention. He's such a good tank. He's so cool. Manny, watch uh, 200 bits. Bosco, you can't hide your bloodlust. Who's hiding it? I just shattered task. Uh, Crybin bro, with bro. I, someone in chat just had a better name. Tunk. I mm. said Tunk. Oh, you did? My bad. Yes! Tunk. So, someone had a better name. name. And it was, and it, was uh, uh, it was better when they said it. <laughs> 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 Crybin with 500 and change. When the nat 20s hurt your friends. Uh, magic with 100 bits. Peacock spiders are so cute. I think some would disagree. Lovely Lorelei with uh, 1,050 bits. Now, now, there's no need to fuss. There's enough mind control for all of you. Uh, Toad of Twilight with 1,000 bits. The only thing I'm loving the... I think I'm... Wait. The only thing I think I'm loving this PvP chaos going right now is finally being present for the Bosco, Bosco halftime show. Love you, Bosco. Here, here, here. Uh, Tears of Mozart with a thousand bits. So now that Bosco is no longer charmed, when was he charmed? Uh, during the session. Uh, hey. Aloha Bingo with a hundred bits. Hey guys, great game so far. Uh, Star Warrior 64 with 500 bits. First bit drop ever. Thank you guys for the years of great content. Got me through so much. Gauze 21. Okay, Monty. Your dominant per dominate person fun is now over. Put it away for tomorrow with a hundred bits. Thank you. Uh, Fedorakin with 500 bits looks up pelican spiders. Oh God, Zito, why? They're not that bad. <laughs> Apparently they are. What the fucking goofy um, is in? Bandy with a thousand bits on a second listen through marathon of the campaign. So many great memories. So many people are going through a second and third time. This is crazy. The Chibi Wolf with 200 bits. Hmm, these rock spiders produce thread. So you could make some rocking threads, right? Might have to go to a specialist, possibly called Thread House Rock on ya. No, no, For God's sake, no, irrelevant name, with a thousand bits. OMG, Dishonored campaign would be sick, spiders. dude. Irrelevant, I love Dishonored, I think it's really underrated. If you've never played the Dishonored franchise, I highly recommend it. At least the first game was really fun. I have only one issue with the game. What's it that? Front loads you a bit too much. It what front loads you. They In put way of... too many game mechanics way too quickly at the freaking thing, thing, and it feels overwhelming. It's my only oh. beef. They don't slowly roll out the weapons. It's my only yeah, issue. I, I didn't yeah. mind that, but yeah, I can no, see why that would be a little bit overwhelming. Really overwhelming. But that's fine. Uh, that's literally got... my only... True free shadow with a couple of bits. The circle of friendly fire. Technically, not true. 
Uh, let's see. Keep on moving. Papusa Monkey with 200 bits. Let's take a moment of silence for Michael Bryan, for he will die on Prince Division for the back. Bosco signed out. Hey, Remy's been rolling great tonight, so it gave me what I wanted. I've been rolling real good. I'll take it, man. Bryant doesn't need those rolls. He deserves to die. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> Draconian with 5,000 bits. Loving the episode. Here's some birthday bits. Happy birthday. Also, Bosco, please stop trying to kill the party. You need them to get back home to Alavast. All the love, though. No, I don't. Uh, Dragon God with 10,000 plus 1,500 bits. That's 11,500 bits. And all they want to say is, loving this episode. I've noticed the more bits people donate, the less they have to say. Yeah. Uh, flood, it's like somebody donates three bits, and they're like, so here's this like two-paragraph long thing, and then they're like, here's 30,000 bits. No message. Here's uh, some, uh, they'll be like, here's 30,000 bits. Oh, God. Uh, flustered Bun <laughs> with three bits. It's okay, Bosco. Kill your friends if you really like it. Remy's got a lot of PTSD no, to let no, out. No, no, I don't like... No, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them! Uh, Sage D. Allen, if a serial killer with an Oedipus complex gets a wife, would that be a dead spouse for Mama? Uh, that's 300 and change. Shut, I don't think uh, that that's mouth. a zero. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Uh, let's see. Tesla monkey with some bits in sympathy for Connor's never ending war with roll 20. <laughs> uh, we got magic with a hundred bits. So some background things are keeping me distracted from the stream. Hopefully I didn't miss too much. No, you didn't miss anything at all. You didn't miss anything. Everything. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. Zan wind with 500 bits episode title suggestions, oh, arachnophobia or no strings to hold me down. It was arachnophobia. Oh, that's what I said. Arachnophobia. Sorry, I didn't switch it over to the art before I left. I, I'm, I'm still in the mindset we just called uh, this episode Look Up Pelican Spiders. Uh wait a second. What so Connor, you're a you're a you're a song fanatic. Like you like rock and roll, right? Uh -huh. Shouldn't this episode title be called Freebird? <laughs> <laughs> uh except add the S, free birds. Plural. Uh, magic with a hundred bits. Like I got it. Place. It's that that's that Zen lit pun right there. Uh, magic with a hundred bits. Also, I am currently eating acorn squash. Gauze with some bits. Thank you so much. Burn out on with a hundred bits. So, if you're saying Bryant deserves to go, are you saying there will be an opening? Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, crod stack. Crod stack. Fifteen hundred bits. Gaijin. I am playing a sumo samurai like Dragonborn. Any quick tips about sumo to help my roleplay? Uh, you're not allowed to punch or kick anyone. That's going to be hard to play. Really, really hard. So just All right. Oh, them, you got to slap them so hard. You, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you can only, sl you can only push. slap, throw, or push. That's push. it. Yeah. There's uh, a friend of mine who, who plays I'm Edmund at. Honda in Street 5 professionally. And I, I want you all to know he wants to change his name to Shimmy Neutron. And it's fucking Ooh, amazing. I like watch High Tuesday yeah. play. Excellent. Uh, so... Last one, Sage D. Allen, because I think Mark just came back. Speaking of Allen, a uh, hundred bits and change, but seriously, got a cat recently, named her Lady Isla. Aww. Aww. There we go. Uh, just for your notes, uh, Maverick the Warlock is up next for you. Excellent. Con Connor, for whenever you get back to bits. I got gotcha. you. Cool. Uh, is everybody back? I'm back. I think so. I believe so. Kurt, yep. All right. All right. Monty, whenever, are you ready? Are we resyncing? Uh, yeah, I assume so, right, Connor? Yeah. All right, let's go. One, two, three, sing. 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 One, two, three, sing. sing. Come on, chat. One, two, three, sing. sing. They'll catch on. Okay. All right. Uh, let yeah. me uh, let me look at the waveform real quick just to see if. Yeah, it's picking me up. All right, we're good. Sweet. Wait. Back Bye, to murder. Tax. Back to murder. Back to Task murder. murder. Task, it is now your turn. Well, I'm casting slow on the one that fucking bunkered himself. Okay. He has that to be a... a something. Wisdom saving throw 17. <coughs> oh, wow. I thought that was a 17, but it's not. Uh, that is going to be a. It's a 17 wisdom saving throw? Yes. It rolled a 17. Aggressor wins. It is slowed. Hey! For the you first go. fucking time in this game, slow finally props. <laughs> Aren't you glad God. you didn't burn it on us? All right, you alter time Here's around up to, six, up to six creatures of your choice in a forty-foot cube. 
uh, the affected target, their speed is halved, they take a minus two penalty to AC and dexterity saving throws, and cannot use reactions. There you go. On its turn, it could use either an action or a bonus action, not both. Regardless of the creature's abilities of magic items, it can take... It can't make more than one melee or range attack during its turn. So hold on, you, it's a 40-foot cube, right? So you can but hit... I get you to get both. Target. But you get both. I get... You can try and get both. You hit it oh, right in the fair. middle and you get both. Do that, then. Yeah, because it's a cube. Do it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, both of them. Unfortunately, that one succeeds. That That's one's fine. Oh, well, you, got, you got the one that matters. Yeah, you got you, one. You, you got the, you got the bigger one. I got one. the one that absolutely right. mattered. Yes. You got EA Sports Bigman. Panic, <laughs> you're, as you're hearing instructions in your head, like, be sure to do what, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> yeah, you hear that in your mind. Dude, you're so high right now. What? I, I, all right, I want to hit him. I want to hit him. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Uh, Wait, bonus is... action, because that was a because uh, that's an action. AOS, that's yeah. a fucking free action. That takes. Uh... Does it say it's a free action? It does. Oh, okay. Shit. Well, then yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Bonus action. Put Hunter's mark on him. This guy's got so many tokens on him at this point. Let's well, see how many we can give him. He he fucked with the wrong people. Sure I'm, now I'm taking the shot. Let me run over there and stun him. And Remember, he has a minus two to AC because of slow. Okay, Connor so needs to bane him. Let's get all of the markings on him. 29. Oh, my God. Yeah, that hits. Make sure you... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? 11 nice. plus. Hold on. 1d6. I did do a damage to him. Oh, so then oh, another Colossus 6, Slayer. and then Colossus Slayer. Uh-huh. Uh. I saw that 8. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore it. Just ignore it. 19. That's shot 1. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just calculate this real quick. <laughs> da, 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 da. Sorry, I gotta get a calculator real fast and my brain can't seem to math right now. I'm thinking about drinking this delicious milk that I have next to me. I was gonna say I know the feeling up until you mentioned the milk. <laughs> okay, that's what it needed to do. Yeah, you slash right into this thing. You hear, like, you see it swing on the string that it's hanging off of. And that's making a con uh, concentration check. Uh, pause. Uh, that's going to be how much did you did 19 so it'd be 10 11 so he succeeds he maintains it was close though all right second shot <laughs> uh, 18 18 uh reduces it by two you said uh yes let me just double check that's, something real quick it's still 21 so that's unfortunately not going to hit it uh on an 11 or higher the spell does not take effect until the creature's next turn uh wait hold on what uh, if the creature attempts to cast a spell with a casting time of one action, roll a d20. On an 11 or higher, the spell does not take effect until the creature's next turn. The creature must use an action uh, to, uh, on that turn to complete the spell. If it is, if it can't, the spell is wasted. Yeah, it's minus two to AC, so it, it it unfortunately does not hit. Okay, fair enough. Well, the whatever. Still, the thing is in a cocoon, cocoon protective state at the moment. So now, now it's, it's, now it's like watching a tether ball fucking flop all over the place in but slow it's motion. Like, it's like half speed, yeah. So it's like flinging around like the slow mo guys, like slowly. <laughs> All right. It's like watching a gif of someone getting punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that in your turn task? That is turn. All right, Remy, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, having been freed, I can now move, correct? I'm you no can longer move, restrained. Yes, but you are okay. surrounded by three very big spiders. That is totally fine. Uh, so let's play a game. So, Monty, you're going to get two attacks of opportunity. Okay. Yep. Uh, natural 20. Okay. Well. Well. Uh, I need you to make I dare you to do it again, though. That I'm stop sorry. Him. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Oh, God. That's so much fucking damage. That's fine. Let Monty, hit me as hard as you want. You f I'm Are sorry. you fucking kidding me? I'm just going to write these down, so. Bosco, why are you trying to die? I'm good. I'm daring Monty to hit me as hard as she can. I, I'm I mean, she just it. did. But like, do it again. Do it again. She might not need to. Uh, and then wisdom save was four. Oh, four. Do it again. <laughs> Does the psychic damage also? Double? Yeah, I can't wait to be yeah, downed in one. Yeah. Hit. All dice rolls double. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's a 
Christ. Okay, hold on. I gotta count this. My nod to you in character was not, and now you kill yourself. It was, you're free. Do something useful. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, holy shit. I rolled really well, too. It doesn't help. I'm so sorry, Bosco. As you turn to run, you feel two fangs go into the back shoulders where your neck meets your shoulders. You take 51 points of damage. Okay, I'm still up. The other one gets an attack of opportunity as well. Sure does. 51. Uh, it's going to miss with a uh, with a 12. Okay. Uh, so it's a 1. Uh, also, thanks for ditching me, you dick. <laughs> hang on. I got to do math. Uh, These guys took their reactions. You said it was 51, correct? 51 points of damage, okay. yes. Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, boy, that hurt. Sure did. All right. Let me know so when you're, you're ready. Turn, though. You're still cool. up. Uh, I am then going to cast Burning Hands, uh, and okay. it's going to hit both. I am now out of the range, so it's going to hit both of the things in front of me. However, it will miss Seika. Okay. Um, and That's I know they are weak to fire, which is good. Uh, yes, I'm going to click it for you. Give me one second. Uh, oh, burning right. Hands. Here we go. Go, go, um, flame. You know what? I'm casting it at level two. Okay. So that is t it's 10. All right. Dexterity. Uh, the first one, that one that bit you really hard. Yeah. Uh, got a 13, so it succeeds. Okay. Uh, the other one, terrible. That is going to be a five, so that is a failure. Okay. So that one's going to take. It's going to take five points of damage. Okay. The other one is going to take a full ten. You watch as fire just erupts out and safety. You're like, oh no! And you're like, oh wait, I'm, I'm a fire ganassi. I'm fire. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, these things do get affected quite heavily by the fire. They kind of bring in their forearms. They're not vulnerable to it, but it seems that they are not resistant to it either. Okay. Uh, so they kind of let out these shrill kind of shrieks, and you can see sizzling, like almost like again that that heightened sort of reddened metal sort of effect on their carapace. Um, all right, and then it's a bonus action to drink a potion, right? It is, yes. So greater healing, it's going to be 44 plus 4. So that's 12 plus 4 is 16. So that's 16 back. Uh, I am then going to action surge. Okay. Uh, so that's, hold on, let me do math. That's 2, 6. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, and I'm going to continue my motion through the action surge to get over here. And I'm going to okay. swing a panic. Okay. You know, Corky, you and me are. Wait a minute. <laughs> a bump on the head. Chill, I was joking. It's a prank that hits. <laughs> it's a Six prank. Points of damage. Uh, he gets a wisdom saving throw before I do my second attack. It's a well, saving throw. Well, let's hang on for a minute there, because as soon as you hit me, I go down like a ton of bricks. I'm unconscious. <laughs> Plang. Oh. Remy, that was your friend. All right. Uh, so he's down. Yes. Yeah, I'm down. I'm unconscious. Did that break the effect? I'm reading it right now. There you go, chat. You got your fucking PvP blood. There you go. Uh... Da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm just reading here. Was that subdual or... Yes, that would have been non-lethal. Okay. It would have knocked him out. <laughs> just got a big, like... like it doesn't say. So, Monty, think about it this way. If they fall unconscious, their mind goes blank. How would they still be controlled? I'm going to say while he's unconscious, he can't be controlled. Yeah, I would assume. But does he at least get to make the save as he's going unconscious? Sure. If you subdue, you just drop him to zero, and he shouldn't death saving throw. At least I'm reading. He's not death saving throw, but he is unconscious. He can't take actions. Clang. Uh, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh... What I'm reading here is that it lasts until it's dispelled or until the timer runs out on it. Uh, this thing lasts forever. The only way to get out of it is if you get hit and knock yourself out. Let's find out. Nine. All right, you're on. Now, Arthur. <laughs> uh, Remy's gonna call out. Borky, leave him for now. Uh, I am gonna use my last bit of movement to get back here. I'm considered flanking with Seika, correct? Uh. If you go down one, I'll say yes, you are. Okay, because that's all I have left. Good. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to take my last swing on this creature with plus two. 
Okay. Um, all right. It's a 17 to hit. That hits. All right. That's a nine for damage. Nine points of damage. Nice. Still looking pretty rough, but it's still standing. Seika, finish it! And that'll be turn. I'll get right on that as soon as they take their turn first. Okay. <laughs> it is now their turn. This guy is fucked up here. He's having the worst time. <laughs> um, he, oh God. All right, let's do it. You guys suck. This guy is going to chase after you. Mm-hmm. Freckles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like fast. These things are incredibly fast as well. Freckles doesn't have the thing on him anymore. Please remove the hunter's oh. mark from my brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hunter's mark. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit you. All right, let's roll up that dupe. Dupe has taken the hit. Okay. Bye, dupe. The dupe will take. Oh, God. Thank God the dupe. God, thank God the dupe took it. The uh, dupe. 17 points of piercing damage. And because That's it's fine. not a real entity, it's not going to take the psychic damage because it doesn't have a brain. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh no, Dinky's dead. <laughs> Dr. Weird no, Greckles. No, that one was Dunky. Listen, you can never stop Dr. Weird Greckles, okay? That is his voice. Story. I might go away, but I'll be back. <laughs> I'm once again asking for your support. No! Hey, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Is this charm? This is a charm effect, so with the I am not effect. affected by it. Oh. Or right. rather, I can use my action. Never mind. I can use my action to end the effect, so I do still have to roll my bad. So you just have to wait. Yeah, yeah you just have to wait till your turn. Oh, Assuming I fail, which I don't, because it's the only nat 20 I'm going to roll tonight, baby. You hear a voice enter your mind going, these people are not your friends. They are not your charge. You are better than that, Seika. And you just are, like, you just turn around towards the spider that's staring up at, like, up towards you. And what do you say back to it? Mudaya. It recoils back. You are unaffected. Fuck uh, out of here, spider. <laughs> that's action. <laughs> it is. I have no smile for you. It is but a glare. Uh, you get attack of opportunities. The thing's gonna clamber up the wall again. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wait, the thing in front of us? No, this thing right here. The, the thing big we tried one. to Oh, got Jaka. it. Friend over here. Uh, do I get? Do I get just two hits on that, or is it just the one? Just the one, and you can't okay. do like stunning strike or anything on it. You have to just do it on your head. Uh, got hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Take is done fucking around. For real though. Are you sure I can't do stunning trike? It it requires it an additional just thing. Says, you only get an attack, so. It just says when you hit another creature with a melee weapon attack, which this oh, is. You could. You could, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. It's like a spike. Um, so <laughs> here's your four damage. Nice. Yeah. And then I will spend the key point because fuck this guy. <laughs> Fucking hell! I rolled like a oh no. Die Hard Dice. Hi, everyone listening at home. Um, <laughs> no. Die Hard Dice has very nice dice. They do. And you know they what's do. great about Die Hard Dice? They always they allow people very... like me to have a moment. You do, yeah. You stun him again. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> How about dominate you, you shit lord? Hey everyone, right. Chris Dio here for the Unexpectables. Mine just stole my shtick. So, uh, <laughs> I guess at least Remy would note that, like, Seika just turns to the spider, says something, punches it, and it cows. Yeah, it's on its side, like, you know, when they, like, ragdoll in Skyrim. Oh, fuck. Uh, I can't believe you've done this. The one... Oh, they took their reactions. I was wondering what these symbols were on them, and I realized it's because they took reactions, which they're going to have back now. Uh, they're going to just dogpile on Remy, because they don't fucking like you. Oh, God. You set them on fire, so <laughs> fuck you. Man. Uh, first one... Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Also, Remy is dead. Remy? Oh, that'll miss. Okay. Second attack. Uh, that is gonna be, uh, plus 26 to hit with the flanking. Oof, that'll hit. Alright. Need to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. <clears throat> it's 
an 18. Nice. Okay, so you don't take the psychic damage, but you do take 15 points of piercing damage as the fangs go into your body. And before it can pulse in the nerve damage, you shove it off before you can take that additional point of damage. Got it. All right. And then the last one that is slowed. Um, what can it do? It's currently coiled because technically panic is still mind control. It actually could be a benefit to you guys if it can't do shit. Right, because panic's down, so it can't even do yep. a command. Panic, it can do. Can't control him. You're welcome. Yeah. Fuck you, bug. Uh, spiders are not actually boots. It can only take it. It can only take a bonus action, correct? Hey. Uh, let's see. Uh, it, on its turn, it could either use an action or a bonus action, not both. That means it can. It can't leave the the thing that it's in. Panics on, the, panics on the ground, on the ground, just like Helen. Your mandibles are so shiny today. <laughs> Someone record that and send it to her. I got it on my sending stone. We're good. <laughs> we have those clams. The clam. Yeah, we, we have the clam. Quarters. Oh my god, you do! Oh my god, hit play. <laughs> Make sure we got no, it clean. Don't don't it, prank me in the middle of the battle, you motherfucker. <laughs> It's going to take the dodge action as its choice. All right. Full All right. defensive. That ends the enemy's turn. It is now Greckles turn with Seiko to follow. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to slash down on this thing that's given chase. Oh, uh, it needs to make another wisdom saving throw. Oh, right. Oh god, terrible. Five. It's Let's still go. slowed. Let's go. Nope, still slowed. Wow, I'm rolling. You enjoy that bug. Die her dice, I love you. These dice are so nice. Please, I want to murder. <laughs> Please, I want to so, roll better. So off, uh, off. Really, the nat twenty wasn't enough. Well, yeah, actually, you're not here. That's fair. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Gonna offhand sunblade this little bastard that keeps chasing me. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-five. Nice. That hits. Yeah. I saw the natural one. I got scared. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's ignore. eight. Ooh. That's eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. That max bad. damage. That is max damage for an offhand strike. Max uh, damage. Um, uh, I'm actually going to go here. Yeet. And then with my actual action, uh, let's send Nick the way of this toppling spooter. Uh, it okay. is only stunned and not prone, correct? It is stunned, which I believe means- Gives him advantage, doesn't advantage. it? Advantage. It's advantage. Yep. But not yeah, auto crit yeah. because that would be too amazing. That'd be um, well. That's only if he's paralyzed. That's restrained. Right. Right. Restrained. Okay. No. Well, re re so no, restrained, no, no. you get Hold advantage. On. Paralyzed, you get crit. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and it automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws, and it is incapacitated. It can't yeah. move or speak. So. Okay. Okay. You have advantage. Here goes Nick. Uh, what the fuck, you oh. Todd? Sixteen. Just hits. Cool. Oh, God. Guess what? Sneakies. So that's, that oh, is baby. nine. That is nine plus. Nine plus. Come on. Roll 20, please. There we go. Plus 13. Nice. So 22 points of damage. 22 points of damage. Ow. This thing is looking, it's still standing. This thing is pretty hardy as well. You note that the ones that are like seem to be like the alpha or the major ones are well more armored and seem to be a lot more hardy. Like they've eaten better than the other ones. And it takes a huge strike and lets out this horrible shrieking noise. As you throw a dagger into its abdomen. Okay, that's turn. Okay. That brings us around to Seika. It is now your turn. Turning his back on the stunned one, as if to say, "You are beneath me," like literally with that that like air to it. Uh, Seika is going to turn towards the one that he has flanking with Remy on. Thank you. And punch. I spit on your honor, land crab. Uh, for oh. twenty-two. 24, actually. Your honor land crap. Uh, for eight damage. Yeah, that hurt. Might I recommend a second? Second punch? What? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. For 16. 16. Just 16. hit. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for six more damage. How do you want to take this thing out? Let's go! Can I rip its arm off and stab it through its own face? Absolutely. Yeah. Just... Cool. Stab down on its face, and the thing twitches and curls inwards. Uh, and then I'm going to turn back towards the one, the big one, and I'm going to spend a key point to flurry of blows on his face. Okay. Kill him. 
You twenty one. That hits. So here's a nice juicy seven damage for you, sir. Nice. Or madam. And another. <laughs> Nat oh! twenty, baby. Oh! Natural twenty. Go ahead and roll that damage. For eight damage. <laughs> That's always the, the rough part of being a monk is that it's like, it's yeah, like, that wow, 20, I'm crit him so for much eight. damage for, you know. Hey, you got your multiple attacks. You, you get it pretty good as a monk. Uh, And yeah, that is my turn. All right, it's looking really rough. You get the sense that while these spiders were attacking you, there's now an air of difference now in this combat. Concern. Uh-huh. <laughs> is that Panic. fear you smelling? Uh-huh. Yeah. So you are unconscious, just to see what happens, just because it's fun. Just roll a death saving throw for me. I was going to say, because he's Man. not dying. If only, this count, really... only successes will count towards this, so. Man, if this really sucks, you know? Got yeah. taken control of, got punched yeah. in the face by Borky. Yeah. Oh, God. Did you like forget what we're doing? He just, he just, he your just, ass? He just said, if just fucking says, yep, yep. Connor, yeah. did you did you enjoy mm -hmm. the shoot cutter? Oh my god, the shoot cutter! The, the shoot cutter powerful, got panic. The the most powerful of real wrestling moves. Yep. Uh, that's a sixteen. All right, that's a success. Note that note that down as a success. All right, <laughs> that brings us around to Borky. It is now your turn. Panic is well, unconscious. Come over here, buddy. Man, leave him. Oh. How, was Worky see the spider right next to his left? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, panic! Worky ah! just <laughs> reckless no, at that but, other spider right no, there. No, but actually, if you can... <sighs> nope, he's okay. going for it. Don't That's where it. he's going. Yep. Reckless attack. Go ahead and roll two attacks with advantage. Ah! Okay. Oh, 20. 20. 20. Yeah, 20. Jesus Christ! Back to back, plus Worky. nine plus three. But wait, there's more. His crit get crit. Plus additional 4d6, please, for me. No problem. And it gets Word. banished, right? <laughs> no, they're native to this plane. They it just it disappears and immediately reappears. It, it pops back right in oh. front of you. Oh. 13 plus 9 plus 9 plus 3. So that's 16 plus 9 plus 9. So that's 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 34. 16. 34. 34. 34. Wow. 34 points of damage. Eviscerated. It's gone. It's but a distant memory. Or nightmare, as you just chop it into mincemeat somehow, even though it's rocks. How far oh, up is that? The one in front of rocks. Borky, is it on the ground? It's hanging from a thread, and it's 30 feet up in the air, and it's in, like, a cocoon state where it's uh, it's protected additionally. Borky it's about... taking the dodge action, so attacks against it will have disadvantage as well. Oh, well, Borky has 30 feet of movement still, because he's only moved 10, so Borky is going to move to... Borky immediately moves to flank the critter he sees. So plus two. So plus two, and Borky swings with a reckless attack on the spider. Please kill it. Oh, Seika, your stun is over as well. End of my next turn. Reckless. Yeah, so it's done. Natural 20! Natural 20! He just got another nat 20, baby! Beast mode! One eye lit up! Borky well, MVP! Plus, four, plus three! That's 19, and then roll the additional 4D. Plus 18. Oh, oh, oh. That's shit. 19 plus 18. What's 19 plus 18? That's 40. No, oh, I thought it was 30, 37. 37. 37. 37. 37. 37. Sorry, 37. Oh, 37. 37. Borky In a just row? Roar, bo can, a bonus <laughs> can Borky just roar at the top of his lungs? Yeah, absolutely. You roar at the top of your lungs. <laughs> Flexing his shit because he's killed two things back to back. He's actually raging. Now you're seeing an actual barbarian go uh, go unglued. And then there's a cave in. We all, rocks fall on everyone. We all die. Ah, oh, jeez. Only one rock falls on the last spider. That's exactly. <laughs> hey. Hey. Task. Assuming that's the end of Borky's turn. Task is now your turn. All right. Well, homeboy up here is uh, kind of got himself all uh, caved in. So maybe it would be wiser to hit the dude over here by Seika. Okay. The one that Seika is currently then perishing over? Yes. So I'm going <laughs> to aim for him instead. Uh, okay. Pass Hunter's Mark onto him. 
Ah, uh, now he's he's down to only three icons. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'll just pass it back on my next turn for the other one. Thirty. That is. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Thirty. Jesus Christ. Done fucking around and finding out. Hold on. Hold Colossus on. Slayer. Plus that. Plus Colossus Slayer. Five. Ah, fuck. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve points of damage. It's still standing, but it's looking terrible. Next shot. Oh, oh fuck's sake, 13. Is it still stunned? No, it's no. not. Okay. You shoot and it bounces off the back carapace of rock and you're like, shit, and you recock another bow. Or another arrow, sorry. Gun <laughs> bow with bow. Cocked and loaded. <laughs> Cock Just that bow. Just shoots another bow. Is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shoot a fucking sword roll, with it. Roll a perception check for me. The bow yeah. of bows. Perception check. Here I go doing that. With an eight. Self check. Hmm? Oh, fuck me, dude. Wow. Aggressor wins. I got an eight. Uh, as you're aiming and you kind of go reach for another bow, you feel some rocks hit your fingers and you look up and you notice one of the spiders who hasn't appeared in the battle currently crawling on top of the roof and passing over you and heading down the, the tunnel. It looks like they're trying oh, to Oh no, escape. the fuck you don't! So I'll just put them here for now. They're over top of you. I'll put you to the front. Okay. Let's... Do you yell out? <laughs> yeah, no, Tass Tas looks up. One's trying to escape! This one is about about probably 80 to 100 feet in the air right now, just crawling on the ceiling, rushing. Oh, I can still hit this motherfucker. <laughs> All right. That ends Tass's turn. Remy, it is now your turn. Greckles, you will watch as Borky slays the creature in front of Remy. His entire head, almost before his body, turns to glare at the thing that was mind-controlling him. He's going to march over to flank with Seika, and you will see a rage in his eyes that you have never seen before, and he is going to booming blade this bastard and try to end it. Nice. Um, Boom. I could really use one more. Oh, 18, please. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Let's go. That's four plus. Hang on. Wait for it. The cat. Eight. That's oh, twelve. Max oh. damage. That's twelve. How, how do you want to kill this motherfucker who's yes. in control of your mind? Uh, Remy, almost with a blade consumed in fire, is gonna bring it down onto the thing's neck and completely sever its head and just let it roll off. It kind of curls inwards, all the legs curling inside. Fuck spiders. Can I just soccer kick the head for fun? Sure. <laughs> all right. Free action. <laughs> All right, that ends your turn. That ends my turn. Uh, can you click slow for me again, Cass? Oh, sure, sure, sure. One moment. Yeah. Uh, spells. Here we go. And kaboom. I just want to imagine we all go over with like blackjacks and clubs, just like side, <laughs> side, side swords yeah. snapping. It looks like we got ourselves a double baby. <laughs> <laughs> the false financially here will use its bonus action to uncurl and is going to attempt to move half of its movement the other way. <laughs> the one Wisdom above saving throw. Wisdom saving throw, correct. Uh, hey! Oh, wait, no, that's still not enough. Fuck. So, <laughs> uh, 15, that's not gonna... Yep, he fails. So he's still hey, slow. The other one above you is going to use its full movement to dash 80 feet down the tunnel. So it is officially off the map now. Is it just uh, which direction like, did it go? North? It's it's heading uh, currently from your position. It is heading to the west. So it's rushing as quickly as it possibly can down the west yeah. tunnel. I still have range on the motherfucker. And I can catch up to it. All right. That ends the enemy's turn. They seem to be on the retreat. Greckles, it is now your turn. Uh, Is yelling a free, like yelling something out of free action? Yeah, it's a free action to, to shout something. It's like a sentence, though. You can't, like, you know, tell your life story. When I was born, I had no face. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gonna he's gonna yell out, uh, Porky Task, we gotta take that down. Seika, Remy, uh, panic? Take care of that last one. And he's just gonna full movement, oh. 80 feet. Let's go. Is panic All right. the family guy so for work? this, you and Task are now off map, I'll say. You guys are pursuing All right. at the moment. So, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, 
I so is it up on a ceiling or anything like that? It is up on the ceiling. As you enter the tunnel itself, the ceiling comes down and it's within sixty feet from the from the bottom to the top. Cool. The village it's... itself had a taller ceiling. The tunnels have a somewhat shorter ceiling to that. Cool. It's getting totted. Uh, well, actually, is it gonna get totted? Yeah, it's gonna get totted. Because okay. I'm using my bone. I'm using my bonus action to dash. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, 14. You throw up Todd, and Todd just barely misses as the dagger bounces off against the stalactite, and the creature kind of stops for half a second and hisses at you and then keeps running as quickly as it can. Oh, I'm keeping up with this bitch. No witnesses. <laughs> All right. All right. Jacob, it is now your turn. Uh, how high up is the one that's slowed? Uh, that one currently, uh, I would say it's currently on the side of the wall. So I'm gonna say it's still 30 feet up in the air at the moment. 30 feet, you say? Yes. Hmm. 30 feet, huh? Well, where is my thing? I can read, I swear. <laughs> can you? Are you sure? I'm not at all sure. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, the range on that attack is 30 feet. Excellent. So I am going to move my 50 feet. Wait, okay. maybe. Measure. Step on yeah. panic as you go. Basically <laughs> puts me right under him. Look at that. Uh, you use, you hello, use panic as a, as a bounce board as you run by. I'm not mean, no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, right. And uh, I'm going to aim my fists up, upwards, fist style. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little ADD right now. Um, and I'm going to shout, uh, Taika! As I'm using my Radiant Sun... No, yes, Radiant Sunbolt. Okay. Is this a deck saving throw? Uh, no, it's just a ranged attack. Yeah. Uh, and its AC is reduced by two, so it's got a 14 AC now. Yep. That Does a hits. 22 do it for you? Just do, do all the attacks, and then we'll do the damage afterwards. All right. Uh, oh. Oh. That hits It'll hit. as well. Um, but I'm also writer. spending the key point to Flurry of Blows It. I am so sorry. Give me one second here. Uh-oh. Holding. Yeah. No, no. You're very cute, but no. Yep. Oh, the joys of pet ownership, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of pet ownership, everybody. Stop doing the thing you're doing. Okay. This sorry. is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do. You gonna do a third attack? Sorry, I apologize. Uh, yes, I am indeed. He's gonna have a bad day, hopefully, if I hit him two more times. Wait, wait wrong one. Hold on. You got it. Ah, that, that one will miss. That one will hit. That will hit. So three, okay, three hits. Roll. Three attacks for me. Six. Uh, so six. Okay. I so badly wanted to be a crit. Eight. Eight. And... Six. So Six 20 again. damage. All right. He's looking rough, but this guy hasn't been hit that much. Sure. Uh, uh, for what it's worth, that was uh, radiant damage, if that means anything. Yeah, yeah I, I applied that. He's not resistant to it, so he took the full brunt of it. In fact, you even get him right in the underbelly where he's like a little less armored, and you can see like, like sand gushing out of the wounds. It's very weird. Does that one end your turn, Why can't it be normal and bleed lava? Yeah. Uh, that would have to end my turn, yeah. Panic, death saving throw for me, even though you're not on death's door, but just to see if you succeed. Uh, five more minutes. 12. Moment. Success. Alrighty. Oh, actually, I need to have to see if it drops its concentration on panic, actually. So I need to make three concentration checks. Big punches. Oh. Success. <clears throat> Failure. Panic is no longer mind controlled. And if he were conscious, that would be something. He's, no, he's not thinking spider dreams anymore. No. <laughs> Elena's no longer a spider in your dreams. She's now Helena again. She's smiling at you. <laughs> Panic's just screaming night terrors, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait till you get you get back to Alavast and you see her for the first time and just start screaming and run. <laughs> All right, Forky, it's now your turn. Hmm. Greckles I, did yell at you. 
What did he yell at? What, what did he yell at Borky? He, he said, "He said, Borky, task. We have to chase that thing down." Remy, uh, Remy, Seika, and a panic question mark. Get uh, finish off the other. Okay, you can so do whatever gonna, you want. Uh, Borky just was told, "Come this way," and Borky just went, "Ah!" and just ran that way. So Borky's gonna double dash. All right, you're gonna chase Wait. after Breckles and Task, or are you gonna help Seika out? I'm gonna help out Seika. I really am. I'm gonna help out Seika. How high up is it again now at this point? It's 30, 30 feet up, up the ground. Yeah. Borky turns. I have, I have like a couple tridents left. Okay. I have, I have a few. I have, I have like a couple left. May, 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 may I? May I? Yeah, absolutely. This Can he ret can he retrieve those? No, these break uh, off one hit. These are broken a hit. We agreed upon. Tridents. Yeah. Okay. The tridents are broken on a hit because they're made out of coral and they br they would break oh, off. Oh, that's right, because they are coral. Yeah. It's pretty and much as a glass arrow. Monty let him have like twelve of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I throw. I throw. T I throw the first one. Yeah. Reckless, of course. Kobe. Twenty-five. Yo. Nine plus three. All right. Yeah. As you hit it, it seems to be resistant to the damage, but it does take the damage. Oh, it is resistant, huh? Okay. Then Borky's going to try a second time as Borky um, is actually going to walk up about 25 feet. He's, he's throwing and run. He's throwing and walking. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, huh, huh. Oh, the and there Hammer we go. Throws. That's a 24 to hit. That hits. That's a seven plus three. All right. And you throw two down and like you slam into it and you, you spear it twice. And this thing is still moving with your tridents in its body. Okay. Turn, Borky? Yeah, I, I, I can't use an intimidating presence, unfortunately. I'm Task, it is now your turn. Well, I'm giving chase. I'm going to fucking shoot some arrows at that thing. Pass Hunter's right. Mark onto it. You shoo, pass Hunter's Mark onto it. It now has Hunter's Mark on it. And unfortunately, I couldn't open it up. No, that's fine. 30. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so six plus five, 11. 11 points, holy shit. And second arrow. I saw that nat 20. Ooh, I saw it too. <laughs> mm -hmm. so All right, so 10 oh. plus 5, 15. Shh. Nice. Yeah, you're shooting at this thing. At one point, you like hit it through its leg, and it has to like just drop its leg and keep going. Like there's just a leg dangling, being pinned to the ceiling by an arrow as it keeps running. Sorry, random question. Do these things bleed? They bleed sand. sand. They bleed sand. Okay. Yeah, sand starts to pour out of them. You can't drink the blood of your enemies. I know. It, that was the only thing I was sand. asking for. Uh, does that end your turn task? As you're chasing after this thing? Yep. All right, that ends your turn. Remy, it is now your turn. Uh, Remy is going to move up to panic. Okay. Uh, question for you, is this thing out of its cocoon yet? Oh, yeah, it's been out of its cocoon for a while. It's been trying to run for a while. Uh, okay. Uh, seeing as how I'm back here, Remy is going to call out, and I think this is only the third time I've ever cast this, uh, Orbus Particulus, and cast Chromatic Orb. Okay. Sick. Here we go. So I got to hit something somehow. Chromatic, Chromatic Orb. orb. What does that do? Uh, I, well, we'll see if I hit, and then I pick the kind of damage I want to use on it. Uh, so here we go. It's a 14 hit. Unfortunately, a 14 misses. Fucking you shoot, shoot, shoot out the door. No AC. Oh, wait, no, 14 just hits. Thank yeah. you. I was like, wait a second. Here we oh, go. Wait, no. What I now? I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes, a 14 hit. So go ahead and figure out what damage you're doing with Chromatic Orb. Uh, so first of all, it's going to be nine. And appropriately, Seika, you're going to watch this thing as you hear Remy call out being engulfed in flame. Okay. <laughs> this thing is still alive. But, but he's it's toasty. He's a toasty boy. He is sizzling like a lobster right now. Ah, gross. All right, that ends your turn, Remy. That ends my turn. It is now the enemy's turn. Uh, this guy with his reduced speed is going to take an action to dash. So he's going to move 40 feet. <laughs> you can run, but you can't run. Oh, shit, where'd it run to? The other one that you guys are currently chasing is going to dash. 
Um, so it's going to move a, a total of 80 feet away from uh, Task. I and... still have range, buddy boy. And I can catch yeah. up to it. <laughs> With Hunter's mark That's... on it, you'll always know where it is, too. You yep. will, yes. Uh, as you guys continue your pursuit, they will continue running. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. <clears throat> well, I'm going to bonus action dash to catch right back up to it. Yeah, you're right beneath it at this point. Uh, let us... It's 60 feet up, you said, right? Yeah, about 60 feet. 40 feet about now, where it's run to, because the, the tunnel, you know, narrows and widens and narrows. It's an unmanned tunnel, so... At 40 feet, it's too high still. At this, at this point, by the way, you and Taz are ducking and weaving around the corpses of all these Earth Ganassi. It's fine. They're dead. They ain't gonna help us. Um... Screw it. Let's get, let's get some Nixum action. What? 15? This is unfortunately you go and you swing up Nick into the ceiling and again you hit another stalactite. This thing is ducking intently behind things to guard itself as it continues running. Offhand with Todd. Yeah, uh, you use your bonus action to. Oh, yeah. to run. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm still keeping right. up with it. You are. You guys are definitely keeping pursuit. Though Task is lagging a bit behind, but Task still is aiming his shots. Say Hi, I have 120 yeah. range feet range of fucking attack damage. And you're move you're moving up like what 30, 30 20 feet? What? Yeah, 30 okay. feet at a yeah. time because if he takes his attack, he can't dash. So at right, this point, right, you're right. about I'm gonna say you're probably about I want to say you're 80 feet behind this thing, so you probably have one more turn before you're out of attack range. All right. Uh, it is now with Greckles' turn over. It is now Seika's turn. As this thing is like slowly trying to run away. From you. Uh, he's still 30 feet up, right? Oh, he needs to repeat a saving throw. Yeah, he needs to repeat a oh, save. Yeah. Like, oh, my uh... God, dude. No, he's still he slow. Failed. Excellent. Yeah, he failed really badly. Got an actual one. Yeah. He fucking failed. Oh, damn. Love this spell. Anyway, uh, he's, still, he's still 30 feet up? He is, yes. He's still on a wall? He is still on a wall, yeah. Cool. So uh, I'm going to do the Matrix wall run up to okay. this guy, get on his back, and punch down. All right. With a nat one. Oh, come on. oh. Wow, I rolled a natural one severity. I'm I rolled two fuck you dice. You're going to grab a different one. So just a miss? Um, it's just a miss. Okay. Do it again! Second punch. Do it again. No, 11. you go and kick once and you just kick the rocks and you swing around to kick again and the thing, despite its slow speed, manages to duck out of the way. Um, I'm spending the key point. I don't even care anymore. Two Do more. It. Come on, baby. Furby of Natural oh, 20. Oh, there we oh. go. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh. That is 12 damage. Okay, it's looking terrible. And I am also spending another key point to stun it. Okay. I'm done. Good We're job, done. Bro. We're done with spiders. We're done running. So done. Soft, advantage to soft, hit it, right? Soft 20, unfortunately, on the saving throw. Oh, fuck. Wait, Wait, threat uh, space, though. It doesn't have any... Uh, slow doesn't affect saving throws at all, does it? Uh, only dexterity. Only dexterity. Mm -hmm. That's a constitution saving throw. Okay. That's yeah. all right. Uh, second hit. <laughs> Still. Yes! That hits. Oh. That hits. Come on, good damage, good damage, good damage. For five more damage. That was exactly the amount of damage. Yes! How do you want there to kill we this go. thing? Ooh. This thing that took command of your denky, dinky, whatever. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> <Correctful>. My dinky, dinky. <laughs> Skimming a rinky dinky dink. Uh, so, uh, Borky and uh, Remy will see Seika blaze up the wall. Um, for effect, his footprints are leaving little steaming spots of blue fire on the wall as he runs up it, gets up onto this thing's back, and tries to hit it down. And after pummeling into its back a little bit, he's going to jump up front flip and do an axe kick right to the base of its skull, Ooh. sending it down to the ground. It crashes to the ground and immediately just sand pours out of it. And uh, Seika will land, standing there over it. Uh, with his back to you guys, he is steaming. Holy shit, he's gaming. <laughs> he's starting to believe. <laughs> he's gaming. <laughs> Got that superior gamer DNA. Someone write MLG. We did it. 
<laughs> on his back. Can I just say I love I love that Remy and Sega got the kills on what was controlling Greckles and himself. <laughs> yeah. All right. Back to the turn order, though. Panic. Death saving throw for me. You're not going to die. See <laughs> what happens. Here I go again on my own. Oh, Nine. you died. Nothing, ha nothing happens. All right. <laughs> that brings us around to you. Borky, it is now your turn. I'm just going to skip Borky because there's nothing really you can do. I got nothing to do. I was about to say, yeah. um, the Borky definitely we'll just does go. We'll just, we'll just focus on Task and Greckles and the, the remaining creature. Uh, so task, it is now your fucker. turn. You have two shots within range. 24. That hits. Come on, baby, kill it. Ooh. 11 plus. Whoa. Jesus! Let's Ooh. go! 18, wow. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 points of damage on the first shot. As this thing is scrambling, it sees a hole in the roof that you guys could not pursue it in. As you watch it go, you pin it to the wall and it lets out this horrible gurgling screech as you kill it and it stops hard in its tracks. With combat <laughs> now coming to a close. I look over at Greckles and I point my bow at him. Say something I would know. Above game, what? He's a, he's making. I'm, I'm, that I'm fluffing that he's checking to make sure you're not mind controlled. You were a jerk a couple years ago. How much of one? You were ready to kill Sully. I lower my bow. I'm fine. I know where I'm at right now. I just nod my head and I run back to the others. Does that does that thing stay pinned to the wall or? Yeah, it's like stuck. It's not going anywhere. I want to grab that. Make your way. I assume you make your way back. Yeah, I want to drag that corpse back. Okay. With the assistance of Mage Hand, you're able to lower it to the ground and just drag the body. Okay. Back. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting about that, but yeah. Okay. I, cool. Well, let's take care of Panic first before that happens. Well, I have I have I, a question, Monty. Th speaking of Panic, mm -hmm. does he start to wake up? I'll say after a bit, he begins to rouse, but he is really beaten so up. So Panic, oh. as your eyes start to open, the first thing you will see is a blade at your neck. And as you're waking up, you will see a sword in Remy's hand, and in the other hand, he has a potion. <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, hello. Say something I would know. You can be a real self-righteous person prick sometimes fair enough he's gonna give him the potion uh you're gonna you are going to heal i think it's a normal one so i think it's 2d4 plus 4 2d4 yep you want me to roll plus four? uh sure okay 2d4 hey man i made this pact i might as well use it hey so nine. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like I got hit by a cart. No, it was a bird. Uh, and spiders. Your cheek really hurts. Panic. And the an Two giant welts on each side of his cheeks. And a spear made of lightning. And my offer. feelings. He's going to offer you a hand to pick you up. Slowly reaches up and grabs him and lifts himself up into the air. Did we win or are we all still mind controlled? I don't know. Let me check. I carve. Okay. Uh, these things are filled with sand. But what's interesting is that the two that had the ability to mind control you have these giant emeralds on the top of their heads. Yo. Or, sorry, not emeralds, like ruby like crystals on the top of their heads. Well, we're going to go ahead and pop those right off. Go ahead and roll a uh, a survival check to try and collect it without breaking it. 23. Nice. Add two question mark move rubies to your inventory. Oh, no shit. Hey, did we find two of the Chaos Emeralds or are those Dragon Balls? Fuck yeah. <laughs> they're sizable. I mean, they're they're, chaos Emeralds. They're about the size of an orange. They're actually pretty big. So they're um, Dragon Balls. Got it. Sure. Um, Dude, you're like Knuckles, hotter than Knuckles, coming at rest, Knuckles. For the rest of these, uh, the eyes, you can add, uh, I, I will, I will, 
I'll type these out so you have them. Oops. Chaos control. <laughs> oh no. The old time stop. I'll slam dunk him in there. Something is happening. I can feel it. 12 false tarantula eyes. Small. Fuck yeah. They're like emerald and like they're kind of small. They're about maybe the size of like a. Uh, mm. <laughs> Make a good conversational like, piece back at the tavern. Like a dollar coin, maybe. Oh, sick. All right. Yeah. Eventually, Greckles is going to come back in with the last body, just kind of throw it. We have to get rid of these. How do you propose Whoa. we do that? They just bleed sand. Bury them, carve them up, I don't care. Burn them. We can't leave anything behind. Burn them. Well, before we do such things, now that obviously no one else is here, I propose we... One, take a very, very long rest, and two, check the town for clues. <sighs> you guys Hang look on. over and you see the slumped over puppeted corpses just lying on the ground. You said they were you said they were like full of cotton? They're full of like um like spider silk that's been balled up and shoved into their bodies. Oh. Yeah. Are their bodies so they, organic? Sorry. The bodies are organic, yeah, but okay. they're dead. They're corpses, so... Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> These people haven't been alive for a long time. Well, looks like we're only just getting started, then. <sighs> I'm gonna cast Detect Magic on those eyes. You cast Detect Magic. You get a weird psionic energy from them. Getting a weird, not quite magical energy coming off of them. Primordial I'm in sure. nature, maybe. The source is primordial, you'd assume. More of that primordial magic. Well, it's to be expected. So, for psionic and definition, it's just like, you know, psychic damage based. Force damage. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the idea is that probably the f source of the damage that was done with you with the psychic damage wasn't actually from the mouth, it was probably from the eyes. So. I don't think we should just destroy them just yet. Put them in the, put them in the bag of holding or the portable hole. They can't do anything in a different dimension. I'll settle for that. I just want them out of here. No they trace. Are very heavy. If you were to load them into either, they would be full immediately. Really? Like they're, how big are they? These, these things are huge. They're large. They're massive creatures. They're oh, probably God. like hi. What hmm? would I need to roll to check if these things are constructs? Uh knowledge arcana. I'm just gonna try and measure out. Wait, how are we expected to put these in a Dang. seven? Seven? Yeah, you have no idea. Beans. Uh, oh well. I think they're at least six feet across by six feet across. Like these things are fucking huge, and they're made of stone. They're made of rocks and sand, so they're very heavy. You're surprised they moved as fast as they did. So you're you're saying the eyes are are gigantic? The eyes are you know maybe the size of like a dollar coin. That's what I was. That's what I was talking about. Oh, I thought you were asking about the oh the, the eyes. No, the, the eyes. Oh, yeah. I thought you wanted the bodies. I'm sorry. Yes, no. if you put the eyes in the bag, you're fine. If you're putting the whole bodies in the bag, yeah, the whole things, you're going to be filled up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's sand. Yeah, no. So put the put the eyes in in the uh, in the portable hole or the bag of holding. They'll be put into a pocket dimension where they can't do anything. And then we can, in a controlled space, find out what they are, what they do, and if we can make anything out of them. Uh, after about five minutes, panic, you get another message. Uh-huh. Uh, spiders, uh, panic, it's Solly. Um, or have, have you been mind controlled? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What's happening? We're all good, Solly. Spiders tried to take control of our minds. We smashed them up. Good. Okay. Everything appears to be in order. 
think we'll be okay now. That's my message. Okay. Hey, Monty. Hi. Uh, I want to check the elders, uh, the quote unquote elders uh, housing. Uh, there was no elder here. Well, the the mage fellow, the the guy who brought, like the guy who was clearly like the quote unquote leader. Uh, Dantine's house, sure, absolutely. Yes. Uh, as you go into Dantine's house, um, there is nothing assuming in this area at all. It's just like a sand bed, and that's it. Hmm. I got one more place I want to check. I want to try the blacksmiths out. Okay. As you open up the back of the curtain of the blacksmith, you see a bunch of dead people, festering bodies, a pile, probably about five individuals. Um, go ahead and roll a knowledge, just a base intelligence check with advantage because of your soldier background. Yeah. 11. Okay. Pa you're not too familiar with, with Earth Ganassi uniforms, but you have a feeling they're military, and if you had to guess, maybe scouts that have probably gone through exactly what you guys have just come through, but probably died. Um, you can tell because there are giant incisor wounds on the neck and chest in various areas of these individuals. They look young um, and like really able-bodied soldiers. Hmm. All right. Come back out. Some poor bastards look like scouts. A couple of bodies left in the blacksmith's house. I guess that's to be expected then. Uh... Well, Shit. now that Greckles is not under any sort of control anymore, you saw the forest of cor uh, corpses, yes? He gives a slow nod and not he like... about average 32 people, maybe. Jesus. 32. Yeah, a lot of dead people. He's gonna... He, he's, he's just gonna kind of slowly nod, walk away about 10 feet, and he's just gonna kind of hug the wall and he's trembling a little bit. Hey. Um, does anyone notice him? I mean, he's not I mean, hiding it. If, if uh, yeah, we yeah, all it's, notice. It's, it's, yeah. We've all had a harrowing experience. As I said before, I say we take a rather long rest to get ourselves recouped before heading out. Monsters digging around in your mind like that fucks you up. He just doesn't say anything. I'll just go over and I'll put a hand on his shoulder just to be there with him. Um, <clears throat> uh, you guys will have noticed that uh, Seika has not moved from the body of the fallen spider this whole time. Um, and as you guys are gathering around Greckles, uh, you hear uh, coming from him uh, some faint singing uh, and bear with me here he no ha ne ha ho no ke mo kan ji ru Mukashi Mukashi Ro Nagade Kaete Stau And he is uh, standing over the corpse and he is shaking. Um, you can still only see his back, but the colors of his flame are very dim. Um, and his posture, uh, is one that lacks all of the composure that you're used to seeing in him. Uh, I will take the step to check on him. I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to like get in his field of view. Uh, are you going to stay behind him or are you going to come around to the front? Oh, no, no. I'm going around in front. 
Okay, you can see that he is crying. <laughs> Task is kind of taken aback by that, his ears lower. He like, kind of like strokes his chin looking down. I like grab him by the arm and like try to like tug him to look at him. He looks towards you. Um, his eyes seem very distant. Adventuring is harrowing. I can't expect anyone to bounce back at this with the most uphill of resolve. But take pride in the fact in knowing you performed your task and it actually and you actually succeeded. We're all still here, we're all still alive. You're doing your job well. I will give you your time to grieve. But know that this pain's temporary. Because if it wasn't, we'd all be dead. Village. This village is gone. As we've moved through the plains, we've met more and more death. I miss my home. And I worry it is worse than even here. My home is gone, Seika. I can never go back. But I promise you this, there may still be a chance that we can go back to yours. You have that luxury. An empty home is worthless. We don't know that. It's not... We don't know... I, I like... I like kind of like shove him a little bit. We don't know that. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Keep your chin up, soldier. Wipes his face a little bit. I like I like kind of like pat him on the arm. Keep your chin up, soldier. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, uh, he'll turn back towards the group uh, and follow you back to the group. All right. I'm going to keep reiterating this. Even if this was a harrowing experience for all of us, we need to take our rest. It's true. And I will take the initiative on this. I go back towards the cave fisher to collect food. Oh God! <laughs> oh, he's shaking, boy. It's hiding after all the sounds of the terrifying roar from from Borky. It's like cowering behind the thing, and it looks scared. Animal handling. Okay, go ahead and roll an animal handling. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm just here to collect some of your babies so I can eat them. Nat twenty. Nice. Oh, yes. Yes. You give it like a quick little pat, you hand it some water and some food, and you grab a couple eggs and walk away, and it doesn't seem to, to mind too much. Sick. You guys eat a rather... You find the salt. You actually find out there were other herbs as well, which actually really does help the whole meal thing. Ooh. You guys sit around and eat for the night and get a long, long rest, a well-deserved rest. You're not sure how long you sleep, but you definitely sleep enough to cure your wounds. I assume you guys keep around guard. You don't make checks. You guys, yep. you know, you guys keep around guard. Mm -hmm. You guys sleep for the night and awaken, assumedly in the next morning, based off of the glowing crystals that make up around this village. Um, I did have a thing I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, sure. What's go up? ahead. Monty, I'll I'll do I'll do whatever hit die I need to for the short rest. Greckles does not sleep. Likewise with Remy. Not after that, no. Okay. I'll take the disadvantage, but narratively he will be not able to sleep after. Yeah, you guys kind of lay awake and have you get, you get this weird feeling like there's just like something crawling all over you. It's very uncomfortable. Um he's I mean I assume we're in the are we are we are we in the dome or are we just kind of everywhere? If you guys went in the dome, you guys wouldn't want to be in the houses at this point. Yeah. He just... He rolls and tosses. He just... It's futile. He just gets up. And... 
he's keeping a wall. He's keep, he's he's keeping an eye out. He's gonna exit the dome and he's just gonna sit. And he's just gonna stare at one of his weapons and just stare and stare and stare. Uh, after about a minute, Remy is also who is restless is going to get up and follow him out the door. Uh, and he is going to find Greckles looking at that weapon. Do you, is there one in particular? Is it your dagger? Is it your sword? It's just Todd or Nick. He wouldn't use the sunblade. He's done want to wake people up. Do you have it in your hand? Oh yeah. Uh, you will feel a hand on your shoulder as you're looking at it, and Remy is going to take the dagger out of your hand. Without any fight, and just with, like, dead weight, he, he just gives it up. Not even fighting. Greggles, that's not how we do things anymore. This isn't the Eastern Isles. I should be dead, Remy. But you're they not. Kn they knew everything. I told them everything. You didn't they tell them anything. Remy, when they were in my head, they took every ounce of information. Everything. We would have had no advantage. They would know how to take us down if we didn't kill every last one of them. And I don't even know if that did it. I have no idea what kind of sonic abilities these things have. Hang on a second, I gotta get the name. Don Kutsu could very well know everything at this point. I should be dead. I failed. Sit down, Greckles. I mean, he's he's sitting down. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you're. I thought you're standing no, up. He's, he's sitting down. He's sitting. That's down. fine. Re redacted. I'm gonna sit down then. Yeah. Uh, he takes a seat next to you, uh, and he lays his sword in the sheath in front of him. <sighs> Greckles, did I ever tell you about my time in the Raven Knights? suppose not. He doesn't look over, he just looks straight forward. One of the training exercises that they put us through is being dominated in our minds. Eldmer would use any trick that they could to get an advantage on us. So as part of our training, we were puppeted against each other so that we knew what it felt like. And it is horrifying. And the reason they did this was to prove a point. It's that no matter how strong-willed you are, every person has their breaking point. The arcane is very, very powerful. And there is no creature on this plane or any other that can resist a strong enough spell. I do not care who you are. At a certain point, you just break. But you, Greckles, did not do this. Whatever this twisted individual was, that is what fished through your mind. You were not tortured. You did not speak it through your mouth. You had no choice. And anyone in your situation could have fallen prey to that. Many of us did. I. I did. <sighs> He's going to hand the dagger back to you. And if you do this, and he's already won. Because we, I can't do this without you. None of us can. I'm not gonna do anything drastic. I know what my, I know what my mission is. It just, it just shakes me to my core. It's the one thing, the one thing that I am not supposed to do. We just have to be extra careful. There's nothing else we can do. I promise I won't let that happen to you again. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to apologize for. It's not like you could control yourself. Suppose not. It's not going to help me sleep, though. Okay, so you guys curl up and sleep. I'll get a full rest. So you guys get your spells back, health back, abilities back, everything comes back. You guys sleep like you're supposed to sleep for like eight hours. You guys sleep for about twelve. You guys oversleep a bit. Uh, I mean, there's, there's also day and sluggish. My there's back. Also, there's also no light down here, is there? 
There is. There's the gemstones that kind of occupy the space of this village ah. that act kind of as a connecting point to the surface and kind of indicates the flow of time. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. It's it's like a la like a lamp and like you know your your bedroom. It doesn't really convey the actual time of day that well. But you guys do rouse from your sleep, sore, but feeling a lot better as you guys rise up. <sighs> you are left in an empty village with many many questions. What do you guys do? Are there how many exits out of out of this place are there? There's the way you came, which you know leads to kind of nowhere, and then the way, right. the opposite way, that might lead somewhere you're not sure. But those are the only two ways, right? It's only two ways. Gotcha. I'm I'm gonna look around for any useful information that may have been written down or anything, or chiseled. Chiseled. You you look around, you don't find anything here. <sighs> All right. Instead, I'll just, uh, I'll walk up to the corpse of that kid with the drumsticks. I'll just kneel down and, and look at him for a moment. Okay. Are we... How confident are we that the thing disguised as Dantine was telling the truth? Regarding how many days before Jade returned. Remy and Greckles, you remember when your mind was occupied? Vanguard Jade is not showing up. They wanted to keep you in the village so they could mm -hmm. control all of you. She's not coming. And we should not expect anything they said to be true. Then we have no reason to stay. No, no we don't. Then it seems our path forward is clear. And he'll kind of indicate the, the path that we have not yet traveled. Do you think, well, just looking at everyone, do you think we need a contingency plan after that? I'm going to keep counter charming. I'm just going to keep doing it. I mean, at this point, I'm going to have to keep a constant state of rage, so I'm just going to remind myself how big those spiders were. Upsettingly large. Hmm. I guess it's safe to assume that there probably aren't going to be any large pockets of uncompromised uh, places, villages. The only thing I could possibly think of that might assist us going forward in case we do get mind-controlled again Maybe a code or a phrase. If they're in our minds, they'll know the code. If we can't prepare for that unfortunate circumstance happening again, we should at least be prepared for knowing if who we encounter is alive or one of these puppets. That reminds me, did any of you see that were they being physically controlled at all? Wires, anything like that? Or was it just pure mental domination? I was a string. I could have sworn. String. I could have sworn when the gross guy grabbed onto me from behind. I saw a string on his body. Yes, I, I do notice they moved as if they were being puppeted. If nothing else, then, we have that advantage. If we can find those, we can cut the threads. At least get them to come out. Unfortunately, I don't have the height to do a... a knife check above their heads. Now you let me worry about that. That might have to fall to you who are... Uh, taller. Shall we proceed carefully, then? I'm gonna take the kid's drumsticks. Okay. And I'll just have them on my belt. Okay. What's your Seika will just kind of nod in agreement. I will take front. Ask in the front. I will take somewhere in the middle. Bulky's taken back. Uh, Seika will be behind task. I'm stuck in the middle with you guys. Stuck in the middle with you. 
Uh, so I guess I'll I'll be between Panic and Borky, I guess. Uh, Seika and probably Greckles, uh, between Seika and Panic. I have you, Greckles, and then oh, okay, that's where fine. You want to go? Wherever is left. All right. You'll be behind Panic. You'll be with Borky in the back. Okay. I mean, me so Ground to the left of me, boulders to the right. Here I. <laughs> Stuck in, the Stuck in the earth plane with you. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys proceed past, leading up ahead, you guys make your way past the various different uh, spots of mining, eventually making your way to the stalagmite graveyard. Uh, you guys walk through about 35-ish corpses that are just kind of indiscriminately gored on top of these rocks. A trend you're noticing with the Oni, um, as Kozui also did a similar thing with his minions. Um... Definitely a fear tactic, for sure. Uh, as you guys proceed past that chamber, the tunnel narrows. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a squeeze for Borky and Remy a little bit. You guys have to kind of kneel in to go into the next section of cave. You guys proceed forward into a wider chamber. Um, no stalagmites or stalactites, which is kind of a relief. It's just a smooth chamber. Uh, but what you do notice are a bunch of small round stones that kind of make up the uh, the ground around here. It's not like a flat ground, it's just a bunch of rounded stones you have to kind of climb over. It's flat in terms of its, like, organization, but it is a bit cumbersome to move through. It slows your movement quite a bit, unfortunately. Someone is typing. That's me, I'm writing down notes. Oh, are you? Okay. <laughs> your, your keyboard's so aggressively loud. I'm sorry! <laughs> um, task. Roll a perception check for me as you're making your way through this. Yeah, here I go. Use them eyes. 22. As you guys are moving forward and you kind of make your way down the stones, you guys continue walking forward and task, you hear something behind you. And as you turn around, you notice some of those stones actually are walking on, on hands and legs. They're kind of squat, like kind of like frog legs coming out of the bottom most part of the stones. And what are those things from Star Wars that have like the little glowing eyes under the hood? Jawas. Jawas? Jawas yeah. You see, almost like the rock is kind of like a shell, you see these two little yellow eyes that peer out, and there's these little dangly arms that come out and kind of land on the ground, and like frog like thin legs on the back. You notice about five or six of these things like unfold and look at you. As you guys have just probably stepped on top of them, as you notice more and more beginning to rise up and turn and look towards you. I, I I don't attack, but I put my hand on my short sword and I try to I see if I can speak to these things. Can you understand me? You watch as one kind of hobbles forward and like grabs a little pebble and throws it at you guys kind of pissed off and goes, boulder rat, gravel, gravel, boulder. <laughs> kind of like pissed off sounding. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Seika, you hear it say, how dare you step upon us? Ah. Uh. I will respond in primordial. Our apologies. We did not mean to disturb you. You watch as they kind of all begin to gather around. You hear another one go, These little nice before you came around. Say that again. Discord dropped out. Sorry. These lands were nice until you came around. No one stepped on us then. Now a much more humanoid show up and it's all back to being stepped on. <laughs> again, our apologies. We wish to proceed through this area. Perhaps you could warn your brethren ahead of us so we do not step on them. He watches another one, like a bigger one, goes, You ask us to warn our brethren? You just step without asking us first! And they throw another pebble at you. I will catch the pebble. Okay, you, just, you bring up a palm and you catch the pebble. And I will gently place it down on the ground at my feet. Okay, you do so. Uh, Seiko, roll an arcana check with advantage on these guys. Oh, gosh. Uh, 17. 17. These are geonids. They are little elementals. They live They live in the elemental plane of Earth. Sometimes they do wander into the elemental plane of fire near volcano regions. Um, they are... They collect things. Um, and uh, they do rob people too, but usually not actively. Um, especially not when they live within the actual elemental plane. Uh, but there seems to be a fairly large collection of them in one spot. You count probably about a solid 200 of them. They're all kind of oh, unraveling geez. in different ways. There's babies, too. There's, like, little ones. Um, and they all kind of begin to, like, huddle around you guys and, like, kind of speak amongst each other and kind of poke at you a little bit. Uh, I'll kind of speak out to the rest of the group. 
It appears we have uncovered a large collection of what are known as Geonids. There's... They claim that this is their land, and they are very upset that we have walked upon them. Well, maybe you should tell them that they've been beset by an unbalanced elemental Oni. Did they make the spiders? I feel like they should be complaining about the spiders. I'll, I'll uh, nod to both Borky and Greckles. Um, and then in Primordial, uh, speak to the Geonids again. We are here to remove the Oni curse upon these lands. If you have encountered very large, aggressive, controlling spiders, we believe they are in league with the Oni as well. They kind of exchange weird little looks. Uh, you watch as they turn back and goes, We see the spiders. They don't bother us. Only care about the humanoids they do. Yes, and they have killed many. They turn to each other again and turn back and go, Not kill Geonids, though. And how long do you believe that will last? They all oh. kind of mull about and char like kind of like, and you hear one go, like, maybe Oni friend of Geonid. And they go, what Oni? Like, they kind of begin to chatter amongst each other. I burn them all to the ground. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I would. As I said, you have our apologies, but we do need to move through this land. If you can point us in the direction of a path that will take us through without stepping on you, we will be happy to oblige. Persuasion check. With advantage, because you're scary looking. Uh, 17. Okay. You watch as one of them kind of goes, they no step on us on purpose. The other one goes, but they step on us. Mm. They kind of narrow their eyes. Mm. Pathfinder! And you watch as like one of them, they all begin to like slap the ground in unison. No, like, this like, is fifth edition. Slap, slap, God slap, damn it, slap. Connor. <laughs> Good, Connor. Connor. Uh, slap, slap, slap. And you watch as one little geonid comes out. Notably, uh, this Geonid's um, outer one has like a ring, like a ring of quartz going through his little rock on his back. Aww. And he kind of hobbles on forward. And they're like, this is Pebs. Uh, he, the Pathfinder says that? No, or someone the, else says that one about One of the him? other ones. And then this guy okay. kind of comes up. Um, I will bow uh, politely. I am called Seika. The Pathfinder Pebs kind of looks back to his people and the other the, the rest of the units go, okay, go, 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 go now. And he's like nods towards you and begins to just like 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 flip like flip flops, like slap, 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 kind of walks through you guys and like heads further into the tunnel. And you watch as all the other units clamber back on top of each other into their weird nests and turn back into into rocks, basically. I believe we are to follow Pebs. He has been designated a Pathfinder. Can we trust them? Well, their kind can be known to rob, but I believe they are more perturbed right now. As we have stepped on them. You have got to be kidding me. If you would, Task. Mm, very well. I look at I look at Pebs. I kinda like squint at him and I just like nod my head like go ahead. He just stares back at you with like a blank expression. It's just, it's just literally shadow and two eyes that just like peer out from the darkness, staring back at you. He watches. He just begins to just walk with purpose. Uh, you guys are led through various different piles of geonids. Um, some are seem to be housed in like these beautiful, um, what are they called? Geodes, like cracked geodes. They seem to be inside yeah. of. Uh, you see others just kind of on, like, different shelved rocks. They're kind of everywhere. Sometimes they unfold and look at you and give you a bit of a discerning look and then fold back into themselves. This is a very warm chamber as well. It's not, like, scalding hot, but it is definitely warmer than the village you were in. Mm. Um, notably, it looks like this probably used to be a village. Notably, there are homes that appear to be abandoned um, and various other evidences of, you know, windows, you know, forges, things that the Earth Ganassi probably use, and it looks like the Geodids have just kind of migrated and moved in. Does it look recently abandoned? Um, roll an investigation check for me. Uh, seven. There's so many Geodes in the way, Geonids in the way, that you have no idea. <laughs> it's like, man, uh... 
if anything, it could be similar to the village you just came from. You honestly get the sense that this was probably the main village, and then what you were in was probably, like, the some outskirts. other small, like, outskirt part where they kept mm. the animals, or they kept, you know, this, that, or this other thing. It makes sense, because there was a blacksmith, but there was no blacksmithery there, and now you see it, and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. okay, this makes more sense. Uh, Pe uh, Pebs continues forward and just kind of stops every now and again just to make sure you guys are following him uh, and eventually leads you guys uh, to this edge and like literally he puts up his hands and you guys are led out of this sort of village and you see a massive ravine like a huge crack ravine and as you look over the edge you can see down down way at the bottom um, is jagged stone and maybe some water you think there is a stone bridge that goes across this massive, probably 60 feet long ravine. Hmm. I want to, I want to, well, since I have superior dark vision, I want to both exam, I want to use perception on looking down the ravine and also where, where the bridge is. Okay. Go ahead and roll a perception. Double 17. <laughs> Down the ravine, as you look down, you do see water. It's fast flowing and it's really far away. Uh, looking at the bridge, it looks solid. It actually looks very well made. Um, it does look like it's been in some disrepair though. Notably, there is like, you know, there's some, some stuff growing on it, but there's no cracks. It doesn't look like it's gonna collapse under any amount of weight, which is very nice. Um, but that seems to be the only way to go. There is like the edge of the ravine on the left and right side, but it's very thin and looks like it's probably meant for like a, you know, like a um, guard positioning. Like someone would do a rotation here potentially before, you know. Things now, bigger question. I'm checking the fucking ceiling. Okay. Go ahead and roll another perception check for the ceiling. Do I see anything up there? 19. You peer up into the ceiling and it goes way far up. As far as it goes down, it goes up. And as you look up, you do see like a couple tips of stalactites. But beyond that, you don't see anything. I'm taking a shot at one of the stalactites. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Nice. You let loose an arrow, and you guys, are, as you guys are standing there, you hear a foom, and then a clunk, and then a... And you watch, it's just crashing by this big mineral deposit just crashes down past you and you see it collide with the side of the ravine and then crash into the water at a fair distance and this large shh. as you do so pebs like suck tucks into his little rock hat and like uh. slowly peeks back out Seika, can you at least warn this creature that the spiders disguise themselves as those uh, I will do so. You speak to him and Terran, and he just kind of, like, nods his rock up and down, like, okay, I understand. Nod the rock. Thank you for your guidance. And I'll bow respectfully again. I kind of, like, say this I... in, in, under my breath. I kind of, like, say, it's going to suck when everyone else, dis if we find any survivors, they're all going to want to come back here. By the way. infested with spiders. I am, I am just, I am just humming and counter charming this entire time whenever I'm not needed. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, I'll move past Pebs and we'll head over to the bridge. You guys head over to the bridge. As mm -hmm. you guys walk over, you're immediately hit with a rush of wind. It's not like a forceful wind, but it's like a natural sort of like, you know, concentration of wind. Um, as you guys make your way across, you look over the side and you can see that rushing water down below. And the new adjustment that Tass just added to the water itself, and that giant stalactite <laughs> type that's in the, in the water now. You guys make your way across, and yeah, this, this, it's all fine. You guys make your way across, no issues. It's a little wet, but it's pretty good. You guys make your way across, and you see now a much larger multiple of chambers that you can take. Do we As in, there's more than one path? There is, yeah. There's about four paths you can see. Did Pebs cross with us, or did he turn back? Roll a perception check. Is Pebs controlled by the spider? Oh, God. 13. See him anywhere. He must have turned back. Cool. Uh, Everyone check your belongings. 
Can I uh roll a percep oh, do you say that out loud? No. Okay. I'm not being roll a perception check <laughs> on each pathway since I'm in the front. Okay. Go ahead and roll a perception for each pathway. Just to at least gather what what between each one. Okay, 23. The first one, like the one that's furthest from you guys to the left side as you look into it, it looks like this is probably some sort of armory, but all of the armor is gone. If there was anything here, it's now gone. Um, it leads nowhere else. Okay. Uh, Tasha's points, uh, looks over to the left. A lot of furniture set for armor or weaponry, but obviously cleared out. What about the one next to it? Uh, the one immediately to the right of it uh, has a uh, actually writing above it. It's like a big tunnel. Seems first like actually intentionally carved, uh, but there is some primordial written above it. I look to Seika. We need a translation. Uh, I'll look towards it. Uh, the translation above says "tunnel to amber shard." Ooh. It says tunnel to amber shard. Does that ring a bell? Roll a history check with advantage. It wanted that nat 20 so bad. 14. 14. <laughs> uh, you would know this because uh, Master Kai has actually gone to amber shard. Uh, it is very small. Uh, it is the only library in the elemental plane of earth. Uh, and that is where the arcanists of the elemental plane of earth go you would know that there are not many arcanists in the plane of Earth. They think that that is uh, Ergonasi bullshit, and they don't tend to practice the arcane arts that much. But that is essentially where the library would be. And you said Amber Shard, right? Called the Amber Shard, yeah. Amber Shard is the home of the only known library in the realm of Earth. If there are any magic users down here who have not yet been turned, we may find them there. Well, it would give us more of a lead than anything. Hmm. What about that last one? The right of that. Uh, the one that's the right of that is there's more writing there as well. I will I read that one as well. Uh, it reads Courts and Keep, which is the stronghold capital of the elemental plane of Earth. That path would lead to Courts and Keep, the capital. I wouldn't think it's a good idea to go marching directly into the capital. We still don't know what we're up against and even how to stop it. And the path to the right of that? Uh, the path to the right of that contains a bunch of those horses. Remember the, the earth horses? Oh, yeah. But they're all smashed to pieces. They're just bits. No. Well, dang it, Monty. You just shattered, you shattered the puzzle. Sorry. <laughs> I had dreams of reenacting Black Beauty, dang it. Collect the glue. Stiggy, <laughs> don't look. Collect collect the earth glue. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, collect that's the earth horrible. glue. Horrible. I thought for a second you meant glue to like glue them back together and then I realized what you said and I'm so mad. And it's so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I'm you know what? Fuck it. At least we actually saw something over by where the horses were. I want to roll an investigation check while everyone else decides where the fuck they want to go. Sure, absolutely. That famous that, natural one. You just intimidated. That's an intimidation the check. Oh, yeah. intimidate! Oh, oh, fuck, fuck you, fuck you rocks! rocks. <laughs> fuck you rocks! <laughs> All right, eleven. As you look around and everyone's kind of discerning where to go, you look down and you notice that there's a massive like crater mark like a big shatter mark around where these horses were. There's about four or five of them. And with your soldier background, whatever killed these horses did it with one swing. Oh, fuck. Uh, do these actually look like indents from a weapon or a source of magic? Big weapon. Yeesh. All right. Unfortunately, that's all I'll get out of that. Uh, I, I come back to everyone else. Whatever were to face up ahead, it has a large, crunchle-like weapon. Oh. Blunt weapons in the elemental plane of Earth. I guess it makes sense. 
I still would rather not march directly into the capital until we get some more information, and we might find that in the library. Well, I don't know about the rest no of you, though. If no one down uh, here is going to find use for magic, we could. I'm just checking things that I can do. As long as we can point it away to guys who seek to hurt us. And I could, good idea. I could probably scope out the town via polymorph and just bamf into something mundane. I feel we have risked your life quite a bit that way recently. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best if we do and all also wasted my time and my spell slots, but <laughs> it's an option. I'm just laying it out there. I'm of the mindset that if the folks of this place are going to not find magic so useful, maybe their enemies will, and that's probably something for us to look into. I mm. wonder if we'll come across some more of these nifty... Wait a minute. Haha! -ha! Hang mm -hmm. on. Let me dig through my scrolls that I got all over the place. Uh, he pulls mm -hmm. out a scroll at X. Got papers are just spruce screwed all over the place. <laughs> just <laughs> blowing through the wind. Ah, oh, my papers. Money. Uh, I still have the hummingbird. Would that? Would I still? Would the hummingbird still have my vision? Uh, no, it would have the hummingbird vision, so you don't get. Well, that ain't helping down say. here. Yeah, yeah, it's dark down here, unfortunately. I don't think I have anything that will help us uh, in the scouting purposes. I say the library then. Same to to the library. Okay. Ah, Same that's order. where books live. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. As yes, Borky. That is where books live. Uh, roll. I'm gonna say Borky and Remy. Roll a perception check for me, since you guys are taking up the rear. Is it dark? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it is around. dark. Yes. Yeah. So I'd say disadvantage because it's not really a distance thing. Seven. Twenty one. Uh, as you guys are walking, you hear like the sound of stone kind of crumbling behind you, Remy. And as you turn around, you see uh, Pebs still following you guys. And every time you turn back to see him, he like collapses into a rock behind you. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's one of those, oh God, what are they called? The things from Mega Man. Man, it's cool. Yeah, Remy will spin around with his sword and then notice that it's the little annoying rock and put the sword away. You guys walk for what feels like two hours through various different tunnels. Moving over top of <sighs> what kind of books you see you got in that li in that library? I bet you about the earth. Uh don't know if they're gonna have any books down here. Well they might actually if there's, you there's the water were there, play, were there trees like... on the surfaces? No, there's no trees. Oh. Well then probably not. Unless they can make trees out of books out of grass. I don't. could speculate that it might just be writings in stone or some kind of druid crafting. That's what I'm thinking. Stone tablets or something. Task Not really something with... Perception check for me as you Oh, no! Conversation. Oh, no, it's a roper. I'm dead. 23. You hear a sound uh, ahead of you, and you hear a... The bow comes <laughs> out! <laughs> And turning around a corner of the tunnel is a tiny little floating blue and pink shard of rock that is just hovering in place. And it's coming towards you guys. Can we sense the rock's motive? Oh, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> Am I picking up its Rayatsu? I cast magic missile. <laughs> no. Ha Can we Can we knowledge Arcana that? Sure. Go ahead and knowledge Arcana, everybody with disadvantage. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. With disadvantage. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, wow. You've got to be fucking kidding wow. me. Oh. Both Sorry, of us? Guys. Here I go. <laughs> Borky. <laughs> 14? This is a book. Um, all of you guys fail. You have no idea what this thing, and Borky, it's dangerous. Oh, ah. I'm a bitch. And it is, appears to be making its way. And as it comes towards you, you notice three more. Woo, 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 woo. Guys, hide, 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 hide. Hide, hide, the corner. hide, 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 hide. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys all Plastered hide. Up against the yeah. wall. Yeah. You yeah. guys go all up against the wall and hide. Let's see who amongst you 
God, it's going to fire lasers. I can't believe both of us rolled a nat 20 on yeah, a disadvantage roll. How? Hmm? I need everybody who casts spells to tell me how many spell slots they have. Ooh. Oh, it's we, one had of these. Long, we had a long rest, so we didn't. So we have cast all of them. Spells. Yeah, just your, what your maximum spell slots are. Oh. Just give me a number if you can. Uh, oh, six, seven. seven. I don't have spell slots. Not you then. So anyone who's a spellcaster. So. One, two, well, I mean, I have spells. 15. I just don't have slots. I have yeah. four, seven, eight. I have nine. Nine. Okay. Freckles. Seven. Okay. Remy. Not enough. Tell me. <laughs> I need a number. Seven. Okay. That's a move. You guys watch as the first uh, stone, as it hovers through, as it gets to a certain point, immediately trains on panic and starts to slowly hover towards panic with intention. Oh, ominous right. intention? Or... All right, I'm, I'm just, I'm pulling out the sword. I'm going to go fight it. Mage yeah, I'm going to just. <laughs> I'm going to go. As soon as it goes there, panic. No, we're not. I'm not playing this game. I'm fighting yeah, I'm, it. Oh, God. I'm, oh, I'm... God. All right, you going to hit it? Yes. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Thank you. It's a 16. Uh, let me check. Uh, that actually does not hit it, unfortunately. What? It's small. It's small, yeah. It's small and it's it's hardy, too. You go to swing and you, like, hit it and it kind of moves, like, Ooh, it kind of spins a bit. And as it gets to panic, panic, it sticks to you. It just, like, sticks to your, your shoulder. Huh. Uh -oh. And it goes, Ooh. It just starts glowing consistently. Can I mage hand it off well, him? Well, it's on panic. I'm going to swing anything? at it panic, so here we go. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, Clearly, it's just the way it's supposed to be. Uh, task, is you're, like, looking at this, like, what the fuck? You watch as another one, like, woo, senses you, and woo begins to go towards you as well. Um, f fuck all kinds of that? Okay. Uh... Fuck all kinds of that. Yeah, let's... I'm gonna hit this thing, I guess. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. 22. That hits. 10. Oh, that's just what you needed. You smash it into pieces, and it whoosh, comes down to the ground into, like, little splinters. I have another shot. Can I aim at another one that's going to someone else? Yeah, you got two other ones that are going towards Remy and going towards Greckles, but about the same speed. Fucking, I'm gonna go for the one that's going after uh, the Greckles. Okay. Hey! 23. 8 plus... Oh, wait, no, that's just it. 8. Yeah, so it's still up. Uh, Greckles, this one at this point, it just attaches to you and you're oh, like, Oh, no, ah. it, wouldn't get, it would not get that close. I would attack it before that. Okay, go ahead and attack it. Oh, Radiant! Roll 20, please. 22. That hits. Kia! Uh, 13. You shatter it. You shatter it completely. That one gets uh. shattered. The one going towards Remy. I will attempt it again. to no punch swing. it. No swing. Wait. 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 I want to punch it. Yeah, okay, you punch, punch it. it. I'm going to swing it. at it. Well, you already no, swung no. at the one that was going for panic. Give me a chance, man. Fuck! 11. That misses. Second punch. Mark. Listen, I'm trying to help I'm you. Mark I, missed it. I missed it. This is a statistical impossibility. Borky, do you want to swing at it, or do you want to just see what happens? Killing Borky. Uh, Borky's just going to let, 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 let the situation unfold. Okay. <laughs> uh, at this point, Remy, is you're like, no, 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 no. It snaps onto your neck and... There's whatever note you're hitting when you do that, Monty. Discord hates it because every time you Sorry. do that, it cuts out. Yeah, of course. I'm, I want to hear it, but like every time you try, hold Discord's on. like, nah, fam. Hold on, hold on. I can fix that real quick. <laughs> if I explode, there we go. Tell Helen and I yeah. liked her a whole lot. You hear, and you hear far off in the distance, task voices. <laughs> oh, fuck, what? Do you guys hide? They seem to yes! be approaching. Okay. Yes. Everyone check for me. Glowing on you? I, I... Wow. Oh, no. 26. <sighs> no way. <laughs> what the That's fuck? So Roll 20. Mean. I actually fucking passed the stealth oh, check. Wrong. Did we, we, we both rolled nat 20s that I'm didn't count. And Mark then we both failed. rolled nat 1s. How did I go? They both stepped on each other's foot. Ow. Oh, 14. Fuck. 
as you guys are like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, you guys all scramble and dive behind different rock formations. That is kind of failures and failures of what? Awful. Technically, you guys pass somehow. Really? Yeah. 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 <gasps> really badly. As you guys dive for cover um, and like panic, you 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 hold your hand over that thing. Uh, same with you, Remy. You see two individuals turn the corner. Pretty tall. Uh, probably about one is about maybe six foot two. The other one is about seven feet tall. <coughs> and you oh, see geez. two Earth Ganassis turn the corner. Uh, one is currently holding a big crystal in his hand, uh, and you can hear them talking to each other. One is male, and one is female, and you hear them say, "It said I got a." Uh, something got hit here and they kind of look around and they like it should be right here i don't understand why it's not here money do they have do, do they have any strings that hold them down i was gonna say how Roll are they moving check <laughs> i i i was gonna wait for them to get close enough i was okay go ahead you don't see any strings also if there was a spider above them you would see it in this town this tunnel it's really short but we don't know that the spiders necessarily have to be above them to control them. Right. So mm -hmm. when when they get close enough, I want Tass to appear behind them with his bow out. Show me your fucking hands. They both turn around. Show me your uh, fucking hands. <laughs> well, you watch as the male one kind of looks towards the female one and just like sh like puts his hand forward. Not doesn't put them up, but he just shows your hand his hands to you and goes, "Your lizards are mutated." And the other one goes, "I don't think that's a lizard." It's really cute. And she kind of puts a hand to her mouth like, aw. <laughs> you watch as they insight. look towards the crystal and both... Yeah, go ahead, roll insight. 16. Um, The garbs that they're wearing is similar to the garbs that the dead individuals inside of that blacksmith shop were wearing. These appear to be some sort of scouting party. Um... The male Earth Ganassi, who is seven feet tall, he he looks like um, a lot more like the thing. He's definitely more craggy in the face, more musculature, and you notice on either side he's got two big clubs on either side. The female Earth Ganassi is still muscular as well. She's slightly shorter, um, and she's enamored with you. You look very cute. Um, I... They both seem to be holding on to this device that as you see them kind of move closer to panic and Remy tends to glow a little bit more intensely. Um, is there any uh, markings or symbols on their clothing that I might recognize? I roll a perception check. Please be friendly. Oh, motherfucker. 13. <laughs> Jeez. As they turn their back to look at Task, you do see on the back of their uh, their outfits and their armor is the mark of Vanguard Jade. These people are within her legions. I'll uh, whisper to whoever might be next to me. They are in league with Vanguard Jade. You watch as the male Goliath kind of turns to people and goes, "I know it's cute, but we must check it first. And she goes, "Goliath? Oh, right. No, they're 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 Earth Ganassi. Okay, you said Goliath. You had me worried there. Sorry. For <laughs> Big rock people. They're very, very similar. Mm. I, okay. Monty just said what she wanted. If, not if he what fought, did he say that out loud? Uh, yeah, they said we need to check him first. <clears throat> Fuck you. Check me first. I'm going to check you. Do you know Vanguard Jade? They look, exchange looks and they go, check the thing first. And you watch as they kind of lean forward and just bring their hand, the flat of their hand. They don't touch you. They just bring their entire arm over the space between your head and the ceiling just really quickly. Like, they just kind of wave over you really quickly. And the uh, female turns and nods to him, and he turns and nods back. And they go, and you watch as they kind of, they're a bit more tentative, but they look at you and they go, yes, we do. We are her soldiers. I'm going to step out. Them. Yeah, I'll step out too. I lower my bow. All right, as you lower your bow and you guys step out, um, panic, Remy, do you guys step out or are you guys still hiding? Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll step out since everybody else is doing it. The moment you and Remy step out, immediately their expressions were like, like, oh, this is very concerning. Who the hell are these guys? Immediately goes to elation. They look so happy. They're like, oh, Zaratan has sent us a blessing! And he grabs uh, the big Earth Ganassi, grabs onto the, the smaller female one, and they turn towards you and smile, and they go, oh, this is wonderful! And they just charge over, wait, me need to check you first. And they watch as they all like go through all of you guys and wave their hands above your heads just really quickly. It's kind of a greeting uh, thing. They just go through all right. and wave above. I'm going to do the same thing quick, to them. Quick thing, Excellent. though, if you... If you guys are mind controlled by spiders, just want you to know, just got done with that. We're not fucking around with it anymore. 
Oh, the male Earth Ganazi kind of nods and goes, you ran into the false rantulas, I see. Yes, false we did. Yeah, what, was that, what was that called again? False rantulas. They are no, they, the... were, they, they were there. They were definitely there. Mm, they like to appear as if they are not. Huh, material walkers. And he watches, he kind of pulls out one of the clubs and kind of jabs you in the stomach a little bit. Mm. Uh, panic. <laughs> They're you so... will find that the town of Terra Soil My no longer abs. remains. <laughs> fucking got her! <laughs> there are no remaining villages. They've all fallen to the might of Dokutsu. But Vanguard Jade has made, well, a vanguard. We are holed up in the Amber Shard at the moment. The capital has been completely overrun with, well, his spiders and himself. Well, that's we what expect. I figured. But, he smiles again, you are spellcasters. There was hope for us once again. What do you mean so by that? Well, he kind of looks to you and goes, <clears throat> Don Kotsu took over, and we did actually have him at bay. There's just one problem, and the Earth Ganassi kind of scratches the back of his neck. We don't know how to make the seals, and that's where we're going to end the set. Oh, oh God! Oh, out of a bitch! Oh, oh wait, fuck. so they they really did beat beat him off, but well, well, hang on, they they wait, uh, come on, they, raising, raising. <laughs> they, they really Austin. did. Austin. 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 He gets so to they keep really, that gem. They really did fight him off, but they they can't make the seals, so he recovered and fucked up. Oh God! Ah, oh, jeez. What a unique awful. problem. What a unique and awful problem. What episode is this? One sixty two. This is one sixty two. Wait, we're gonna have to make the seals? Ah oh, jeez. Oh, oh, gee, we didn't bring any seals from oh, the ocean gee. level. You gotta you gotta you gotta put the yeah. seal way up your butt, panic. Oh no panic. I mean, I don't know about still, that. I've got I've got like the incom a couple of incomplete ones, but that's not gonna do us much good. Probably I mean, it's better than that. nothing. It's a starting point. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Good lord. Well, All right. Wowie. Well, that's a what? fun revelation, huh? What an episode. <laughs> they actually the fucking Ganassis. won, but they're too stupid to win. <laughs> The Earth Ganassis are martial powerhouses, mm -hmm. but when it comes to Arcana, they're dumb as fucking bricks. Yeah. yeah. Pun intended. Man, I feel bad about that kid. Fuck he that was kid. already dead before you met him. I don't. He's a, he was a fucking he was a corpse for the moment we saw him. Yeah, but he he had the, he had the sticks on him. He really did want to be. We don't uh, even musician. we don't even know if he was actually talented with music. That could have just been a farce. For all the fuck we he knew, clearly he could have been an oblick. He, he clearly feel was bad. He's music. a kid who got killed for no reason. I still feel bad about it. I, I mean, we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of dead kids, you know. He's not <laughs> a dead kid. He was he was like okay, hold up. He That's not a good like, thing. He was like like like. 20 years old when i say that's kid, a kid yeah like, so he's like so he's honor i'm gonna give you a piece of advice he's a young man who we would call a kid yeah exactly that's he could what have he gone to the ymca show. but now now he's dead connor i took the advice of a wise man his name is brock lesnar i don't give a shit about his kids or as or as someone that you might look up to bosco uh Ooh. michael once said fuck them kids yeah someone fuck had them a really kids. good title which was uh team fighting tectonics <laughs> that's a lot of alliteration. I, I still like Freebird, like but that's just me. Tectonic Freebird. <laughs> what if we reverse that? Tectonic team fighting. Tectonic team fighting. That no. rolls a little bit easier. That it's rolls TTF. better. We need an no, ending there. We can have TTF. other things. Like they, might, they might crop up because, you know, our chat's pretty clever. Look so. up Pelican Spiders. I'm just saying. No, stop it, don't. Zeno. I'm never going to stop. Fucking nightmares. It's not fucking scary. Yeah, yeah if you're talking... not afraid of spiders. Are we talking what the peacock? Fuck is that thing? <laughs> Are we talking peacock spiders or peacock spiders? Yes, so peacock cute. spiders. Oh no, peacock so has spiders cute. too. Oh god. So you want to really scare yourself? Look up camel spiders. Star Trek. No, you want to really what scare yourself? What the fuck is this, Zeno? What? What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's 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 a fucking spider the size of a grain of rice that eats other spiders. It just. This is a this is the dodo of the arachnid world. <laughs> Fucking thank yeah. you. He's so cute. He is the dumbest looking idiot, and literally their whole deal is when you fucking put your your big brother puts their hands on your forehead and says stop hitting yourself. 
Yeah, uh, you guys might think they're cute. I'm oh. not afraid of spiders. I still think they're nightmare fuel. Someone called it a rocknophobia for a name tag. Oh, rocknophobia. Oh, oh, like all right. Yo, that's, good. I like that. that's, that's good. That's really good. That's pretty good. That I might have to do that one because it's yeah. like all right. Don't take it. It's good. It. Write it. Then write it down before it. we forget. Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. Yeah. That's, that's really good. good. That's really oh. clever. Well, uh, while we're all reeling from that revelation, oh boy. So, huh. Gaijin, where can they find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, little G probably gonna be VTubing it up. I have fallen to the dark side. Um, I'm going to be doing Monster Hunter Rise if you all want to join him this weekend. I don't know if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday. It's going to depend on how well I can get him situated. Gotcha. Uh, what? You should you should join us on Sunday. We're playing it Yeah. Soon. Yeah, but see, I have to stream before you guys stream, and then I'm going to be extremely tired. You're going to be extremely tired? We should stream earlier, Monty. Uh, 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 also, 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 I'm in. I'm also in an insanely in-game armor and weapons. So, yes. but it's Monster Fair Hunter. Enough. Carrying's not an issue. Right, but appearance might be for people who don't want spoilers. So, right. oh my God, listen, Something they fucking show you every fight. monster at the first loading screen. Fuck Did off. Did you know that there's monsters in the game? I don't want <laughs> Did you know Rathalos is in the spoilers. game? Spoilers, guys. Anyway. anyway. Uh, I'm also working on the very first proper episode of my sub-series, uh, Yokai Hunter Rise, where I'm breaking down all the yokai origins of all of these crazy new Japanese-inspired monsters from Rise. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, Gosterang. I love him. Um, it's in the books. I'm working on it. Uh, no, all of them. The first one's going to be Great Izuchi, and I actually have 12 minutes worth of crap to talk about with him. So this this crap's dense. So don't worry about it. Other than that, um, second channel uh, had a video go up not too long ago. Guide your perspective. Just hit 20,000 subs. Thank you for that. And I hey. think that's it. I'm very tired, so I'm gonna tap out. All right. Yeah, we went a little yeah. late. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thanks for, stopping. Thanks for sticking around. Have a good night, Gaijin. Yeah. Later, dude. All right. Uh, Zeta, where can they find you? Well, you can find me looking up on Google Pelican Spiders at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, CC Backlash on Twitter and the Evering at Almanac on Patreon. Uh, where it, in the fact that I am creating a new book, uh, did you ever stop and say to yourself, hmm, I really don't feel like there's enough monster races that are playable. Like the fact that Noel have 26 pages and volos of lore, but no fucking player stats. I'm pissed about that too. That's why I'm creating Aloysius's Guide to Social Acceptance, a book that lets you take the role of, in lore perspective anyway, the role of Aloysius, a kobold in service to the Raven Queen who has been dubbed the monster therapist. Uh, you get 20, maybe plus more. I don't know. I have secret stuff. 20 player stats, 20 NP, uh, 20 playable stats for uh, playable monsters, like Knowles, if that's what you're into. And uh, mm -hmm. a bunch, and it, it's all across uh, a bunch of monsters from first to now edition. Uh, I will post a link about that in here. But Dino, there's not a lot of information I, I can give you unless you're part writer? of my Patreon. If you are, we have a Discord to talk about that. But if you're not, that's all the information I can give you at this moment. And then if you watch me on Twitch, I'm playing carts and indie games. Shit. The, the, Deedlit. Deedlit. Deedlit in Wonderland. Deedlit fucking anime uh, fuck d, &D. Yeah. I'm playing the shit out of that. I'm going to continue it. I think I got through halfway of the stream, uh, halfway of the game in my first stream. That's him, Mr. Rapid's favorite anime. And I'm good. All right. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find Speaking you? Speaking of anime. Wow. I mean, actually, yeah. You can find me on Twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. Follow my fat cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life uh, I didn't announce it at the top of the uh, hour because I <laughs> kind of forgot. I was too nervous about the fight. Uh, but uh, for those who are watching the English dub of Horimiya, uh, you can catch me in episode nine uh, playing the uh, brand new introduced character, uh, Mizouchi. That's what it is. Mizouchi. Um, very excited to be in that show. There's a lot of really solid talent on that show. So if you aren't watching it, uh, check it out. Whether your flavor is English or Japanese, watch uh, Horimiya. It's a very, very fantastic love story. Very real. Um, so, yeah, very nice. Check it out. 
Uh, and yeah, I will be streaming over the course of the next week. I don't know yet when, but it will happen once my computer is finished. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, we'll be having some fun. Uh, and that's it for me. Excellent. Uh, and Bosco, where can they find you? You can find me on twitch.tv slash the Citra King and at Citra King on Twitter. <laughs> a very talented He's artist. And we're back. You should definitely, you should definitely come by, drop me some uh some likes, some shares. I really appreciate it. Hey, fuck you too, Citric. Uh yeah, no, I just I really appreciate all the support for my art. I did a really good job on the overlay, didn't I? Yeah, I'm awesome. Yeah. You if you don't like me, eat my rhyme. <laughs> Uh, Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, Ocarina of Time. We're going back. We're going to be doing, I think, the Shadow Temple, maybe. Um, I think we're just trying to go through and get as, like, we're trying to 100% the game. So I might do some side quest stuff. I have to do this one really dumb Simon Says game in the woods, and I really don't want to have to do it because I'm really bad at those, but... I have to try and do what I can. But um, hopefully you Shadow Temple, it'll be fun. It's been a really, really fun stream. People have been really enjoying it. Um, so definitely come and check it out. And then on Sunday uh, is Monster Hunter Rise with Connor, which is always fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now into high rank stuff. I might do a couple of high rank quests maybe tonight before I go to bed. But um, I, I'm i so happy. I want to do Kezu's in the game. I love my boy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then on Tuesday, you guys can catch me over at twitch.tv forward slash Arcadum uh, as Tori. Uh, and that's at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, it's been pretty fun. We had our second episode and we're all dungeon masters. All the player are dungeon masters. So if you want to see a really streamlined game uh, in terms of combat and turn order, it's really, really solid. It's really cool to see. So definitely check it out. Oh yeah, and Twitter. Cat pictures. Fat frog pictures. You know, your fix is there. Cat frog, cat frog. Uh, Takahata 101, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata 101. Uh, I'm actually, much like Monty, playing a Arcadum game with Edward Bosco on Mondays, actually. And every Monday yeah. night, we're actually throwing down. We're actually, uh, me and Ed are uh, playing D&D with Moist Critical. Uh, Video game donkey and the most subscribed man on Twitch, Ludwig. So wild things these last couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aside from that, uh, tomorrow I got the day off, but the bar is open on Friday night at 4 p.m. PST. So come check out some VTubing fun. And that's it from uh, moi. Awesome. Uh, is that everyone? Did I get everyone? I believe so. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday, I do tabletop wargaming with my buddy Luke via Tabletop Simulator. Uh, Friday, uh, play whatever I feel like with whoever decides to show up. Last week, it was Valheim with Lady Vitor and Moose with Balrog, who will be showing up this Saturday on Gateway. Uh... Saturday, I'm playing through uh, Yakuza 3 Remastered. We're finally getting into the meat of the game. Uh, and I'm hoping this is going to be uh, a bit of an experience. A flashback to the far-off year of 2009. Uh, Sunday, I'm playing Monster Hunter with Monty. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Be, sh be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. Uh, action RPG replays the to fight the living spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series. A link should be popping up to that so you can find all the information and where to purchase a Founders Pack for that soon. Uh, also, be sure to check out my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition subclasses. Uh, most recently, I did the Passion Domain Cleric, which focuses on getting the most out of your proficiencies and manipulating the emotions of your uh, friends and foes alike. And if you are so inclined to purchase one of my subclasses be sure to leave a review and a rating it helps me a lot i love to hear what you have to say about uh your opinions on the subclasses good and bad so i can further tailor my experience or your experiences with my future subclasses and be sure to check out the hellfire soul sorcerer coming out next month and with that i think we should read off some bits and subs wait, after i wait, thank our sponsor wait. Yeah, those guys. The dice people. 
uh, Die Hard Dice, thank you so much for uh, helping us live through this fight uh, tonight with your fantastic uh, polymer and metal dice of all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Uh, anything you could possibly want that's related to dice, you can find at dieharddice.com, including uh, dice towers, dice trays, carrying cases, uh, all sleek, compact, portable dice are easy to roll made of non-toxic materials and they can be yours if you go to dieharddice.com if you use the affiliate code expect apr uh on purchase you can get 10 percent off your order price and depending on your purchase that could be a lot of money you save and some of that will get thrown back to us so we can buy austin some more um wood chips for his cage <laughs> sugar water <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a little dripper. Only the highest of quality <laughs> wood chips. Like oh. Aspen, we'll get him Aspen. I mean, if, if we get him, if we get him enough cat, if we get enough cash, we can get him the little plastic ball that lets him run around the living room. Yeah, it's not bad. Thank you so much, Die Hard Dice. Uh, they got some interesting products coming down the pipeline. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and read off some bits and subs to round off the evening. Uh, let's see. Where did we leave off last time? Uh, Warlock, I believe, was his name. It was a three part Warlock. Name. Maverick the Warlock. Yep. Oh, boy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see it on here. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Go from about two hours ago, and I'll oh, tell I see you the red. Uh, oh. Night Alon, thank you for the two months. Another month of fun and Monty being an inspiration for my own D and D game. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, I miss Kirby Moro. Thank you for the uh, forty-seven and forty-nine bits. Uh, Bri Bri Saurus, thank you for the thirty-two bits. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the one bit. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the five bits. Uh, Addis Kirby, thank you for the five bits. Chaos himself, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Gaijin, will you be making a video talking about how you found out cat girls about cat girls way back while trying to find a name for your cat in Monster Hunter? Well, he's gone. He is he not here anymore. Oh, no. Now he had to go to bed. only have to pretend to know the answer to that question. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 46 additional bits. Uh, Bri Bri Saris, thank you for the six additional bits as well. Demon Shark 666, thank you for the 100 bits. Time to ruin this shake. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, here. they made they a were, shamrock they were, shake. They were doing four leaf clovers in chat and filling up the cup and trying to make a shamrock shake. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 10 bits. Vader Bro, 5186, thank you for the seven months. Demon Shark, 666, thank you for the 33 bits. Uh, putting some salt in that mug as well. Antillerus, thank you for the 20 bits. Spirit of Love, thank you for the 13 months. Wow, y'all <laughs> late. Yeah, we did go a little bit late tonight. Imagine as you go, uh, thank you for the 71 bits, uh, making that shake a little bit gayer. Uh, Citric King, thank you for giving us here one sub to Z Z Z Zymus style? Zymusite, probably. Zymusite, yes. Zymusite, yeah. Zymusite, yes. Uh, until the rest Actually, Citric just sent me a really nice message. <laughs> I can't read it on the stream, though. I see, I see. Yeah. Antillerus, thank you for the 20 bits. Demon Shark, thank you for the 31 bits. Antillerus, thank you for the 21 bits. Antillerus, thank you for the 100 bits. And a cherry on top. Axios Rot Riot, thank you for the 11 months of Prime Subbage. The correct response to all things spider is fire. Imagine fire? you go, I miss Kirby Morrow. Thank you for the 55 and 55 and 167 and 48 and 66 bits. Uh, Infinity Judge, thank you for the 600 bits. I have a stream key for an indie game I kickstarted a while back called Narita Boy. I am caught between offering it to Zito or Goomba. I would love either of you to play it. Uh, Zito for the indie game love and Goomba for the Japanese lore. 
If any of you are interested, I can send you the key. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to do my okay. homework on that first before I accept anything like that. I want to at least know what I'm getting myself into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zen Lita, thank you for the 300 bits. So how long is Mark going to hold down on us that he can sing? Uh, what a beautiful vibrato, too. Oh, well, th thanks. <laughs> Bro, that was an opening to a fucking monster fight in Monster Hunter Rise. Was it? <laughs> it kind of was. If, if, I I appreciate that. I, I actually, sorry to sidetrack, just real quick, but like, I wrote that song for this character months ago. Um, and there was just never was a good time to do it, but this seems like a good time to do it. But I'm on a different computer, so I didn't have the lyrics or the recording that I have to double check my tone. So I just did it off the top of my head and I hope it was good. Um, thank yeah. you for being thank you for being kind and generous, but I genuinely hope it was good. Mark, I just uh, want to say from the bottom of my heart, as one of your closest friends, you absolutely did it. I did, in fact, do it. Thank you. You did. It was you. You sang. It was done. Yeah. Yes. You, the act was performed. It, it was experienced yeah. by everyone. Yeah. Correct. Right. Yeah. Lich wannabe, thank you for the one hundred bits. Connor, would you consider? Your latest homebrew a passion project? Uh, Damn. Yeah, why not? I would, I would, I would say it is in in many senses of the word. Uh, I actually been working on that specific subclass for over a year, so yes, I would, I would in fact say the passion domain cleric is a passion project. Mexabear, thank you for the sub. And finally, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 94 bits and the 13 bits on top of that. That just went through. And that's we're gonna That's uh that's it for bits and subs. So who are we gonna raid? I got a friend of mine who's streaming right now, hey, uh Desert, Desert King. P. Desert P. Yes. He's playing anime and he voices the characters very well he's actually. He's playing anime. He's playing Xenogears episode oh, one, Zer Willy. Der oh, fuck. I can't. It's anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Anime. All right. What will our raid message be, Zeno? Uh, your wheels are mocked, I believe. Just, just spam P. The letter P. P. Just spam the letter P. All right, P. guys, go. Zeno said go. P. That'll be, that'll be even better. <laughs> Bye, chat. It's like E, but it's P. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. You ended up in the